Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Throwback Thursday. Today, what a throwback today. Indeed. We are, we are throwing all the way back to 2008. So a little bit of our history. Uh, technically, Covenant, the company, started in 2007, January 2007, with a game called The Spoils, selling singles, doing blogs and content and videos and that stuff. It all happened. Uh, but in 2008, we went to Gen Con 2007, and then we didn't go in 2008 uh, because there wasn't a lot going on for the spoils at the time, and it was a super expensive trip, and we were not in a position to be just taking that trip to take it. <laughs> uh, and that's when they announced a game called Monster Apocalypse, which is the game we're throwing back to today. And I remember one of my first experiences with Monster Apocalypse was actually getting a text or an email, some kind of digital communication from Jonathan. Yeah, and he was like, "Have you heard of Monster Apocalypse?" And yeah, Jonathan's my brother, so he and he does all of our video editing and production. And he had just and his you know, on tokens. And he stuff. he did his. Uh, it's so great. He did his thesis. He got like an English, uh, some kind of English degree that I can't fully remember. He did his thesis on Godzilla. So he was a very huge kaiju fan, very huge big monster fan. And so yeah, whenever this announcement hit, it was like, "Yo." Something important is happening in yeah. my realm of life. So, and it was, I think it was really interesting for him <laughs> because uh, he had, like, we, we threw back to Mage Knight not that long ago, mm -hmm. and he played that. Uh, but you and I got really heavy into, like, Star Wars TCG, uh, particularly in our teenage years, and he wasn't ever really into that. No, um, and so, the gaming, the we, we kind of had this, like, gaming thing going on. And, he, you know, we were doing Covenant, and he had done, um, I think, yeah, definitely. It was the summer, the summer before this came out is when we did that Dragon Ball tutorial, mm -hmm. the first YouTube video on our channel. First thing on our channel, if you want to check um, it out. And so he, had, he was involved, but like he didn't really care about a Dragon Ball Z card game or card games in general. Uh, and so Kaiju was a particular interest to him. So yeah. the fact that I was a game was being uh, brought to my attention from him was really like, it was intriguing to me, because I, I had, as a kid, you know, I'd watched Godzilla and King Kong, Godzilla vs. King Kong, and I, I had, like, uh, my older brothers had Godzilla and King Kong toys and stuff. So, like, they were around, but it wasn't ever something I was, like, super, super into. And then he was interested, so I was like, hey, I'm going to order some starters and we'll check this out. Uh, and so the starters came in, and I happened to open. I actually still have it, which is crazy. It's worth mentioning too that we, uh, the the Woolly family, was raised on a good deal of insane kaiju style movies, like uh, Gamera, I yep. believe it was the turtle, the the wild turtle uh, giant uh, thing that yeah. did all of that. And you have Mothra, uh, Mothra, of course, and Godzilla and all of that. But we we dad really liked the B B horror movies, so we got into kind of that <laughs> space of like very weird uh, kaiju movies. Meantime, that was not allowed in my house. <laughs> yeah, of course, so, yeah. you know, as you do. <laughs> but opened the starter, and I actually pulled Sky Sentinel, which I, it's literally this one here today. I kept him the whole time. Uh, he was one of my favorite early monsters that that we played. Uh, and I remember, so we got some starters, and, <laughs> and he was so busted, <laughs> unbelievably good. <laughs> uh, we got, some, but the thing was, we got some starters, and um, it may may be. I, I'm interested now. We we mentioned this a couple throwbacks ago, where it's like we probably should have done the throwbacks by playing with whatever the starters were. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But what I was gonna say is that Monster Apocalypse may have had the worst starter set. I can possibly imagine for it a game. It was very poor, yeah. Uh, so you, you can kind of see the table now in the shot, and there's a ton of buildings out here. Mm -hmm. uh, and so each player, when they come to the game, you bring a monster. So you choose your one main monster, and they have their alpha and their hyper form. So they're like normal, and then they go crazy form. Uh, and then you also have units. So typically you can bring up to 15 units to the game. So a starter set came with a random monster. Mm -hmm. You don't, didn't know who you were getting. You got the ultra form and alpha they, form. Those right? were together. Yeah. Uh, and then you got four units. Mm -hmm. And the four units, it was either four or six. I think it was four. They were random, and yeah. you you wouldn't wouldn't get more than one unit from a faction. Right. So, like as an example, one of my favorite factions. I forget their name. What are they? What are the apes' names? Uh, I just drew a total blank. Uh, ape. Uh, chat will know. Somebody out there. Uh, plenty of people. Yeah. Out there play uh, so it came with four units that didn't really go together or really work with your your core monster. So if all you had was starters, it, it was a collectible miniature game as well. So. Mm -hmm. Pre-painted, pre-assembled, that was nice. Yes. Um, but it was it was collectible. So the units... Empire of the Apes. Empire yes, of the Apes, thank yeah. You. Uh, the units came in booster packs of random units, and the monsters came in monster booster packs of random monsters. Because the weight's so different, you can't have them in the same thing, right? Um, but the starter, I just remember distinctly, like... We got a couple at Gen Con. Did we? Mm-hmm. I remember opening them. I don't know if we got them at Gen Con. I have a distinct memory of opening a starter and being like... 
we can't play. <laughs> yeah. So w- <laughs> what happened is we got some, literally started with starters. And back then, I'm in college. We have, like, no money. So, like, uh, not no money, but very not enough to, like, just go crazy on a game. So I uh, bought some starters and uh, opened it up. And Tim and I tried to play a game. And it was, like, I thought the monster was cool. And mm-hmm. it looked cool. And I was, like, intrigued. But it was, like, something's not working yeah. how it's supposed to work. So then we went ahead and ordered, um, and I had Jonathan had actually requested that along with that order we put some starters in for him. So I went ahead and ordered like a box of boosters because uh, yeah. I was just like, I just want to see, you know, yeah, like where is, does this go? Is this is this any? Anyways, got the boosters in, and then at, at the time you were away. Those at, long rectangle yeah, boxes, definitely. yeah. You you were away at um, uh, OSU, uh-huh. and so uh, Tim and I actually for like a whole weekend. Once we got that box, that booster box in, yeah, that is all we did. <laughs> Tear in, yeah, and man. that was, and then, and then played with Jonathan, and he was hooked, and you were hooked, and like very quickly. Uh, so this was actually the the game after the spoils for yeah. us that we got obsessed with. It was 100 percent um, of everything we were doing was this game. As players and as a store, it was like this was it. So yeah. we we did all kinds of stuff. You'll see us using. Uh, hmm. custom dice that we made for it. We, the, the map we're playing on is actually a map we made for, as an exclusive for a convention that we hosted called ManCon. By convention, I mean a group of 30 to 40 people <laughs> getting together in Tulsa to play a game. Um, and we had a, like faction packs, which were like, we always called it the early uh, Saga Set protege, mm-hmm. where like, you could pick Empire of the Apes, and you could buy, I think we started them at 20 or 30 bucks, and you would just get one of all of the ape units from a set, so you didn't have to do the whole booster pack thing. Uh, we did the, remember the army packs? Oh, so yeah. So you just pick a monster. Yeah, t- let's well, talk about this well, process. I mean, well, it stemmed out of, it, th- this has always been the case, I think, right? So we experienced what it was like to start the game as players, and we kind of looked at it and said, this is, there's going to be so many people that are not going to be able to play this because they're going to open one or two starters and literally cannot play the game. They're going to have not enough units, not enough buildings. The units they get aren't going to match the monster that they have or the monster they might want to play. So the thing about kaiju is like, whenever you you attach to a particular monster, like that's what you want. Like if you're an apes player, you want to play the apes. There's yeah, like, just no way around it. I saw King Kondo. Yeah. Immediately there were stars in the eyes. <laughs> and that was it. And then I saw right. Gakura, he's like sw- an ape swinging a train. Swinging the train. And it's like, well, I, I'm playing the apes. Yeah, that's what you want to play. Like it's not just like any monster will do. It's like you, you choose your one. Um, and so given the fact that you'd have to either hope for it in the starter, you'd have to open all these monster boots to try to find the one thing you act- that actually interests you in the game. Um, we started with the army packs and it was basically we would just you know open a bunch of monsters and then we'd have them available in army packs and so if you wanted to play Gakura for instance you could have like the there was the low tier mid tier and high tier and it was so crazy what we were doing so <laughs> I would hit the so I had the inventory at the time at a house I was I was sharing with Jonathan and our friend Dylan a tiny house in Claremont Oklahoma we had all of our mom puck inventory in the bedroom uh, and I was sleeping on the couch every night so my bedroom was just for inventory the order would come in and grab the monster I'd grab all of the current units that we had available for as like singles and then start to say, okay, how do you build a good list for Gakura? And start picking out, well, you need one of these guys and one of these and two of these and three of these and like, oh, we're out of this one that you need, so we'll put two of these better things in as kind of like, a, ah, we're going to smooth it over, you know, and make it make it as good or better. For well, the you're person. basically trying to build the best list of what was available. I'm trying to build the best list and the fairest list given the value and what what people are paying because it was like a forty, sixty, eighty dollar. Uh, yeah, you know, and it was tier. basically like. What do we have available, and what budget did they choose? Yeah, because it's like if you only had forty dollars to build an ape list, what would you put in it? That's right. Uh, so then I would take that and I would put it in a box, and then I would type up a summary of the list, what's in the list, how to play it, why certain things are there, as well as the buildings, and kind of give a, a you know about a page of strategy for this particular list. I'd print that off, I'd put it in the package, seal it up, and then I'd bike down to the post office and mail it out. <laughs> and literally, like, it had to change every time because, like, if the buildings we had or the units we had or the budget you had was different, it would kind of change the the mm-hmm. nature of the list. And so, like, you were literally making a basically customized list and strategy guide yeah, every, every time order. one of those come through. Yeah, but the yeah, crazy yeah. thing was, I remember, so at, at ManCon, we did that annually. We did, I think it was 2010, 11, 12, and 13. We did it four years in a row. And I remember at one of those early ones, we were we had an opening ceremony we would always do, and we'd talk. And I remember being really excited because it was like, 
you know, it was like, I don't remember what the number was, but it, this is how many players we introduced to the game through the army pack specifically. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was a good number. And like the reaction that people had of like, I never would have been into this game if I hadn't had this option was pretty crazy. And that was one of the things, I mean, it's wild to think about that 11 years ago, we were kind of solving some of the same problems we like. Yeah. Real, I mean, even now it's like one of the big concerns in any moment is like needing to make sure, a lot of publishers solve it mm -hmm. in a way better it's way. It's gotten way better, yeah. Uh, yeah. But back then it was like, we just need to make sure if someone is interested that there's no barrier between them being interested and actually being a part of this game. Uh, and it, there was a lot of work to do back then. That's right. Yeah, that's 100%. Uh, so we, you know, we, we were uh, playing that game for a very long time. And then essentially, if you heard our latest podcast on communication, this is a really good example of, of one that really went sideways. Um, and it was in the worst way possible because the first kind of the first season had come and gone, that first wave. And then we were getting new factions for all of the agendas. And so the second, starting with uh, the, the fourth release. The Monster Apocalypse Now. Monster Apocalypse Now, right? So it hit, and so the game was doing well. We were really jacked about it. Um, and then it went to, it kind of started getting like, I feel like I remember at that around that point, it was like, I don't know, there's some delays happening. Things are getting a little weird. Then they switched to the non-collectible Well, model. before that, we got Wave 5, right? Did we get Wave Big 5? Big in Japan? Isn't that what it was? Or was that, I thought that was the early one. That was set two. Maybe it was. Because, well, I know we got, like, the element, the second wave, set four. Man, I fell in love with the el elementals. Yeah, introduced the elementals. Crazy. And so there was a fire, earth, wind, and uh, air, no, water, a yeah. uh monster. And I, I'm pretty sure there were only two monsters per set. Because there was, like, King Kondo and Gakura. Yeah, and there was the Morphers. Yeah, and then it was, like... Um, uh, what were those other apes? There was a Dijon with the ice pick, like the uh, snow ape. Remember that guy? Yeah. Yeah. So Did the, that, ever the, come that was the last wave. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what ne set five was called, but set three is the one that includes morphers mm -hmm. and installations, which were like faction specific faction buildings. Faction specific buildings, that's um, right. But after five came out, uh, that's when they switched to non-collectible. So they did a two-player starter. It was fantastic. It was phenomenal it was product. was two fully built armies for two monsters, and like you could buy in, and it was a, I think it was like eighty or hundred bucks, and it was it was a great product. A ton of buildings, the, everything you needed, uh, and the reaction to that was insane. Yeah. Uh, so we were super excited, and it was like the collectability had never been the thing for us. Sure. Uh, at a, really at any point, but uh, then what happened is unfortunately what happens uh, to a lot of games in that area which is they did some previews for set six, <laughs> and then they never talked about it again. Never. Uh, just gone, Years. nothing, I mean, no waiting. updates. <laughs> um, and of course, since then, it, I saw some people on chat saying that they're, they're here to watch the old game because there is now a second edition of the game that came out. It's like, you have to assemble, it's metal miniatures, it's not collectible. Um, and I think some of that stuff that was originally previewed is actually now starting to come out, which is crazy. But I remember the devastation at the time, and like I remember that Gen Con after that, Basically, I remember running to like Bill Lal and Terrence, and they were like, mm -hmm. "We're trying to find anybody to talk to to see what's going on." It was what's a total embargo. You can't say anything about Mompog. Don't talk about Mompog. We were to, at the time we were still doing some General media. Hondo is the other guy. That's right, General Hondo. Yeah, we're still doing uh, media primarily at Gen Con, and we were talking to publishers, and we're told that we couldn't talk about Monster Apocalypse. I remember that specifically too. It was like not talking about Mompog, and so we were sitting here just staring at a wall like just at least set six because like <laughs> it finally it gives me the installation for the elementals yeah. that I've, I've still to this day not seen the final like morpher the final units that that make all of your faction work well we all wanted the elemental morpher we were right just waiting so you can have the little character for each <laughs> element that comes together in the big yeah it forms thing. like the big yeah. void ball or whatever it would have been great um but it was also crazy to think about like there's a lot of memories flooding back because again this was like a good two or three years where this is the only thing we talked about, played. Yeah. Like it was, we were uh, unbelievably Blogging almost just, daily about this. We had a, we literally at one time had three separate podcasts, weekly podcasts going up on our website. Mm -hmm. Right? Like this a, is actually, this is the game through which we met our now operations director, Robert, because he and I would talk over Google chat about Monster Apocalypse strategy while Zach and I were like testing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, so, yeah, so then uh, you know, wall comes down, total silence. Uh, the, the products never released. Eventually, and now it was like a year or two years after this, that we saw it was like a sneak peek of the molds 
Do you remember seeing like there was like an article that went up or something that showed like one or two of the molds and we were like, oh, maybe it's still coming. Maybe it's still happening. Well, they, they put like, it, there was some article called like the future of Monster Apocalypse. Yeah. And there were like yeah. sketches and yeah. some art and yeah. some like digital renders of models. And everyone thought the subterrans were finally going to work because they get like their smog factory mm -hmm. or whatever, and they never, never did. No, they were just always, always <laughs> they were blind. So bad, always. There was one that Tim tried to make <laughs> play well, and he almost like it was like almost good. We we lived in that that territory for a while. <laughs> Uh, but uh, Jello saying, "Am I about to get really excited about a game I can't get?" Actually, surprisingly, this is a game you can very much get. Um, mm -hmm. There's a on the throwbacks. I've been having to like really find out where you can find old games. Right, yeah. I've been yeah, yeah. doing that dig, and I want to say um, it's Hills Wholesale has like boxes of all this product at like. Really, I, I almost bought a box for the stream just because I thought it'd be hilarious. Just to check it out, yeah. Um, but I did So you can get it. Yeah, you can get it. And people are selling armies sometimes on eBay and whatnot. I don't know. It just depends. And then, um, so this went under, and there was also, you remember all of the buzz about there was going to be a movie. That's what I was going to say. going to be a monster All the memories movie. coming back. And that's why they couldn't release, we, you know, everybody was spinning up these theories. That's why they couldn't release the next wave, because they were talking to movie deals, and they didn't want a product. Yeah, because DreamWorks actually got the rights to make a movie. They did. And, and, they, and the John August uh, wrote the script. That's right. Yeah. John August, and then it was, uh, who was supposed he, to direct it? There was already, um, I thought there was a director. Uh, yeah. Um, and it had the Christmas oh nightmare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, kind I, can of a see, weird, I can see his face. I always think of Johnny Depp whenever I think yeah, of him. Yeah, you should. He's yeah. in a lot of his yeah. movies. Uh, uh, cr uh, uh, I'm waiting for a chat. Somebody, to, somebody's to get got it. it. Yeah. Somebody's got it. I know it's the Chris, the weird Christmas movie. Johnny Depp's involved in most of the stuff that this person does. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yes. you, Robert. Robert's on it today. Tim Burton. That's right. Um, but yeah, so like there, there, that was exciting too because it was like at the pitch of excitement. We heard about DreamWorks getting the rights to make a movie, and it's like this thing's about this to gonna go be crazy. great. We're we're supporting this game, and it's going to be great. And, and they did the uh, Voltron set. Yeah, don't forget Voltron, which people were super amped about. Yeah. And like, anyways, there was a lot going on, and it's it's a pre-assembled, pre-painted miniature game. It looks great. Like even out here now, I'm just like, looks actually, phenomenal. this looks phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and it was pretty cool because you had all these different factions, and like everyone could kind of get behind a faction. That 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 was. It, it always happened, right? There would be happened. a couple factions that clicked for people. Uh, and we were just obsessed with it, and it was a good time. And basically, it had one... We'll show you here in just a second when we start to play. It's one of the best, absolutely best systems for odds management, dice management, and for kind of making tough choices between two sides of your gameplay. So on the one hand, you can activate your units. On the other hand, you can activate your monster. And the degree to which you activate your units determines how strong your monster then gets, or the degree to which you activate your monster determines how good your units get. But you also can kind of slide in a little bit in the middle so that you can maybe take two turns in a row of one side or the other, or, more. or three turns in a row. Yeah. And so it really rewarded you for managing your resources, in, and it was a nice fluid kind of style to the game that got really addicting really quick. It also had odds that were kind of progressively in your favor depending on how much you invested in them. But it's never 100%. But it was never 100%. And then and the other thing is just like there was some amount of flavor that even though the monsters were almost entirely poorly balanced, like the monsters and the units and the faction balance was literally all over the map. It was not a tightly, like I think of flesh and blood, <laughs> it was not like a tightly balanced game. Uh, it was a high-flying kind of game. Yeah. And so even if there was such a big gap in skill just with managing the game and understanding how to play it that you could take a monster that was not very good and win against somebody with a very good monster just because the mechanics of the game allowed you that much ability for skill to kind of shine through. Uh, so that got really addicting. Really addicting. And then all these monsters had so many weird abilities that it was like, I can probably, it's very unique, but I think I can make this monster work if I bring these things and these buildings and these units and like try to piece it together. Uh, and there was just a lot, of, a lot of opportunity there to really express yourself as a player sure. when you were going through this one. And another thing too is you gotta choose your map. Yeah. So you remember that boardwalk that was like boardwalk a, was brawl. insane for Sky Sentinel? I remember it very Hitler well. He just sits out in the water and is like Yeah, it's the worst thing. Yeah, there were degenerate moments, but I had a good time. 
Yeah, great time. So, you know. You know, you got you have a good got? time. And I could go out there and, and punch you. And we got so much better at the game over time. It literally, it took years for the, the layers to peel off to understand how to play it best. Yeah, I uh, actually, I just just literally remembered this. Um, back in the day, I did a blog series called Mastery Monster Apocalypse. Yeah. Remember that thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was a 31 day blog challenge uh, where, <laughs> and like, it, I was basically in one a week, and it, I would go, I would spend hours making these blogs to basically challenge various topics. And you could take a list from the start and go to the end of it. And like, I think it ended up being like 30 or 40 people made it all the way through. And Spaz mm -hmm. made it all the way through like, like five times. 20 times, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the name was fitting. Like, I mean, he went crazy on this thing, uh, which was awesome. But that was, that was cool. There's a, a lot of good memories here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a top-down basics okay. of what's going on. Just to refresh, I read through the rule book, uh, which is dangerous for all of us. <laughs> um, Shall we go to the top-down? Yeah, down? let's go to the top-down. So it's uh, we got to get a lot into this thing. So just appreciate the... Uh, this is also what Vassal looks like. If you play it online, this is about exactly what it looks like. I haven't right? heard that word in a long yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, we used to have uh, Vassal terms. So I used to play on Vassal. All the time. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, so the goal of the game is to defeat the enemy monster. And mm -hmm. like I said earlier, you have an alpha and a hyper form. So I have King Kondo here, and I have Quantum King Kondo. So there's usually like Ultra of a form. There's also the Mega Hyper form, and there's also the Quantum Hyper form. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is just, they do various things and have various stats. But once you defeat me completely, you win the game. So if I look at Kondo's stats, on the bottom left of his left side, he has a heart with a number in it. That's his health. So my alpha form has six health, and my quantum form also has six health. Right. Uh, I have this handy-dandy uh, health dial here from, from Bashcon. Bashcon. Was that 2014? No. Way, was, way earlier than that? That was like 2010. 2010? Yeah. So I'm going to set up. But you, uh, because I only have enough stuff... For me, that's how we played it back in the day. I got dice. You, you have this. Oh, right. The old tracker. The old oh, tracker. Of course I do. I uh, get this thing. Yeah. So this you'll set your health for your monster when we get me. there. Yeah. But basically, if you get one of their forms down to zero health, they immediately flex into their other form. Uh, and we'll cover that in a minute. But once you defeat both of my forms, you win the game. Right. Strictly, that's just that's how that goes. <clears throat> uh, on a There's basically two types of turns you can take. And there's a unit turn and there's a monster turn. And there's these various dice pools over here. You see all these little little monsters I have that are units. The most important, or not most important, the most fundamental die in Monster Apocalypse is called an action die. It's yeah. these white dice. Uh, they have the worst odds of the game because half of the sides are blank. Yeah. They have two sides that have a single icon hit on them, and then one side that's kind of like a critical that does two. Uh, but they're 50-50 to hit, and then one in six times, you know, they'll do, they'll roll a two. Uh, to do anything in this game, you basically have to spend an action die. Uh, just remember that if you're watching. Uh, right. It's the same old thing. So uh, on a unit turn, and you have to have action die in your unit. This is your unit pool. And as you spend them from your unit pool, they're actually going to go over to your monster pool. That's right. Uh, mm. and, and you can't do both on the same so turn. So clever. Yeah, you have to start the turn, and you choose which side you're going. But even if you had just one die over here on the monster side, you could technically take a monster turn. Uh, and so on a unit unit turn, you're going to have a handful of phases. The first phase is called a spawn phase. So you can on a spawn phase, you'll look at your units, and the, on the bottom row in the left, there's a little a coin with a number on it. That's the spawn cost of this unit. So as an example, I have a stealth ape here. He has a 1. So to spawn him, I could take an action die, move it from my unit pool to my uh, monster pool, and you'll see these spawn points over across the board. My side's red, your side's blue, so you'll have little blue mm -hmm, spawn little points. Little blue points, yeah. So yeah, I could put him here. I could spawn another unit. Let's put another stealth ape in. Let's put a <laughs> unit. Yeah, you remember it. The bellower <laughs> is going to go here. And most every unit was one. The elite versions of the units generally were two. You got it. And uh, the elite ones kind of had this leadership ability where they made the other units better if they were around yep. them. Yep. So uh, that's just some random spawns. We'll, we'll reposition the buildings and actually take turns in a minute. Uh, the next phase is called the advancement phase. So you can actually spend an action die, uh, and each unit can do this once a turn, and they can move. Yep. So the top stat on their stat has a little arrow with a number on it. The number is how many they can move. So like Brontox can move five. I can pay one here and move five of my stealth tape, so he's going to go uh, one, he, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. They can move diagonally. They can. I like, immediately remember that that yep. was the case. So then, you know, I could pay one and I could move this guy here. Let's just say I wanted to do that for reasons. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'd stop the turn, right? I, stop, I could stop moving. Now, the next thing I could do is I could actually attack. So uh, you can attack uh, with units, right? Uh, on their stat thing, you'll see a handful of stats. The first is an arrow with a number, the next is a shield, and that's their defense value. It's how many hits the opponent would have to roll to hit that unit. 
Uh, the next thing you'll see is like a circle with spikes coming out of it with a number. That's a melee attack. So if you're adjacent to something, uh, if you're literally, punch it. you can punch it. So if these were next to each other, they're adjacent, they could punch. The stat under that is range. It's kind of got an explosion with a number on it. And on the attacks, the number represents how many white action dice you can roll in that attack. You don't have to roll all of them, but you have to roll at least one. At least one, yeah. And then on like the stealth ape, he has a one, and then he has a star one below that attack. So that actually represents what are called boost dice. These are typically blue. Uh, mine are going to be black. Steven's a green here. Uh, but he's got a one attack with a one boost. And boost dice are a little bit better than action dice. So they only have two blanks. They have right. three sides that have a one and one side that has a two. Uh, so his attack is actually one plus one. Uh, and I'll walk through that in a second as though they were enemies, but they're actually besties. Uh, <laughs> but the attack under here, the range attack, um, if you look under the range attack, there's two bars. It's like short and long range. Short and right. long range, yep. Yeah. Short range is two or three spaces. Uh, long range is two to five spaces away. Right That's on. how far you can shoot. Right on. Um, so if the stealth ape was attacking a melee attack here on the Bellower, I would roll What's these. What up, Lars? I, what up, Lars? <laughs> uh, I would roll these two, right? And I got two hits. And if we look, his defense is three, so I would miss. Yep. Now, if I had rolled a two and a one, a three, it would hit. Uh, and then he would be defeated, and he would bounce off of the board. And we'll cover what that means in a second. And you just don't have like health values. Either. You, you exceed their defense, they're off the you board. You just hit them, and they go away. Yeah. Uh, and they, they typically will go back to your unit pool, and you can keep respawning them uh, on your rounds. Yeah, the forever. one exception to that are these like translucent, clear, white units. Uh, those are glass. So once you, you break them, they literally break, and they, they can, can't come back Slightly in. Slightly better version, but it's disposable. But it is disposable. Yeah. Um, so after you go through your attack phase, you have what's called your push phase, where you can move any of your unused action dice from the pool you activated to the other pool if you want to. So Which you should never be doing. Yeah. So <laughs> if... If I had, I mean, technically it might be that there's scenarios where it would happen. There but are some scenarios. Regardless, if I had three left over for whatever reason, I could just move them over here, and then it would end my unit phase. Now, a couple things that are worth noting that I covered here. Anytime you defeat an enemy unit, you're going to get a power die. Right. So when I defeated that unit, I would actually take one of these red power dice, which are even better than a boost die. So there's only red, one blank. These red pa this is the candy of the game. I mean, this is really what you're trying to get all you the time. You really want to be powered up. So I would move one over because I defeated a unit, and it would stay there until I use it, which is great. Yeah. Uh, and power dice can only be used with monsters, which we'll cover in a second. So on a monster turn, uh, the first thing you have is the power up phase. And so you can literally spend, um, I believe it's one to three. It's one to three. One to three dice. I remember because you roll three sometimes, and you just hate whiff. So it's 50-50. Yeah. The odds of rolling blank <laughs> on all three is one in eight. So one in eight turns, you will just not power up. Remember you have the statue and you get the boost die on your power up roll? I absolutely Oh, do. and you still miss. So uh, <laughs> I remember also when people forget to do that and then uh, they're upset that yeah. uh, people didn't remind you them. You also have the ride or die players that just roll one every time. Yeah, like, so yeah. Uh, the thing about it is you can, you can use up to three and you roll. And as long as you get a, at least one hit, you power up. All right. Uh, if you blank, you don't you don't get a power up. But when you power up, uh, a few things happen. So for every unit you have on one of these uh, power points, which is red, uh, you'll get a power die. For every unit you have on one of these purple spaces, you actually remove an opponent's power die, which is pretty sweet. That's right. For every building you control, you actually also get a power die. So if you look to control a building, you have to have three units next to it, and there cannot be any enemies next. Without to it. an enemy adjacent, I remember because sometimes you downtown that you water. You just gotta avatar, block them, yeah. right? <laughs> uh, so I have three next to this power plant, so I would technically generate a power. And if I remember correctly, controlling this gets you an extra power. Yeah. Uh, but I'll have to look up all these abilities because there's these little icons with a hundred things in the book that we got to look at, but we'll get to that in a minute. It was one. It was a great joy at one point to do that. Yeah, so if I spend three, let's say I got one from powering up on that building, one from that power point, I'd have three. Uh, it's my monster turn. After the power phase, you have the hyper phase, so you can actually, your monster can turn into its hyper form, or it can flex down out of hyper. If we look at Quantum Condo here, uh, where the unit cost was earlier, on the, the bottom row, on the very left, there's a red two. That's his hyper, hyper up cost. Busted. So uh, he can spend two power dice, and then let's say he was over here hanging out by the Statue of Liberty. Then he would actually become his hyper form. And he stays there until my opponent uh, either defeats this form, I flex down, or an ability they have knocks me back down. Like a headbutt. Like a headbutt. Classic Steven maneuver. Or I guess it could have been <laughs> a classic been. Steven maneuver. <laughs> Take a um, second. Hello, I want to say hi to, to Cactus out there, Dave Z. Uh, all members of the the old Team Covenant site when we were really hard into this. 
Uh, so good to see you guys. I'm glad glad you're here. It was tech. It was kind of miserable, but it was the best. It the, was best the best kind of miserable. Kind of miserable we, we were miserable together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so. Uh, after your power-up phase, you have the hyper phase, and then you have the advancement phase. So you can spend an action die, and then they get to move their speed. So he's, this one is a seven, seven, right? Uh, so I always did it where like I would tip, and I would basically click with the corner. Mm -hmm. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if I wanted to move there. Uh, also during your movement phase. Now tell me about movement abilities, too. Now I'm, I'm just used to every monster having flight or jump in some capacity, but you know, could you fit through this as a as a pedestrian, so as we say? You can fit through because you yeah. move a diagonal, but not all monsters. Like, King Kondo here has that arrow in the square that means he can jump. Mm -hmm. uh, so he can actually jump over as long as he can land fully on the other side. So his speed is a six. I remember that. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And he can actually hop over that. Some monsters, like Sky Sentinel, have flight. Some monsters, like your favorite, Aquosia, I think, mm -hmm. was what we called groundbound. Groundbound or pedestrian. Yeah, you know. pedestrian, uh, another classic uh, nomenclature there. So she just had to run through buildings constantly. Yeah, and so uh, actually, I'm pretty, <laughs> sure, I'm pretty sure Quantum Condo doesn't have um, jump or anything because he like he doesn't have the ability to get off the ground. So he just rampages through stuff. Yeah, he's good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the other thing you can do before and after you move is called stepping. You'll remember this. Uh -huh. So you can spin an action die. That's where the game is won and lost, To my move friend. one point in one space. <laughs> so like, you know, sometimes you need to like edge up to the corner to be able to hop over buildings or to get wherever you need to get. Or sometimes you step eight times and then you take one to move and then, you know, you, you step a bunch and then on your last action die and your ten power die, you do that game winning body slam or whatever. Or you miss. <laughs> or you miss. Uh, then <laughs> after your advancement phase, you can attack. Um, and so there's a couple things, uh, terms, can you hand me... Now you can do like step, step, move, step, step, step. Yep, you can yep. move step before, after. Just hand me, I'm going to grab a monster. Uh, let's get Equosia for old time's sake. Uh, so mm. a few things. Um, it's that custom paint job too, isn't it? No, it's not. No, that's that's the original, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened to all your stuff. You don't want to know. Uh, it's gone. <laughs> uh, so uh, th a couple terms that are worth uh, remembering, especially once we start looking at new abilities. Uh, if they're corner to corner or like this, one one square overlapping that's called adjacent. Mm. Uh, and then I believe this is called next to. Base to base? Base to base. Base, base to base. base contact. I've said base to base a thousand yeah. times. Yeah, so like life. there's a power attack called body slam where you literally, if you're base to base, you can pick them up and then drop them on either side of you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to collide with stuff. And we'll go through the power attacks in a minute. Uh, but that's just important uh, for reference. So King Kondo has a melee attack of seven, up to seven whites. So let's just say I would grab five of these. He also has three boost dice. Uh, plus, I can toss in any number of power dice that I have that I want to, and I form my attack pool. Uh, and your defense is six. A six. So I'm trying to punch you. I would just roll, and I got seven. Boom. Uh, so I'd punch you. I would hit you for uh, one damage unless an ability is triggering otherwise, and there's all kinds of stuff we're going to have to look up in a second. But that's how you do an attack. Uh, power attacks are going to be way more specific. Uh, and a few other things that are notable is that if your monster, uh, if on your turn you send your opponent's uh, monster to the other form, mm -hmm. uh, you gain a power die. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you, for every building you destroy, uh, you gain a power die. So mm -hmm. like if I tossed, uh, tossed you through uh, some buildings, I would gain, like I, I could throw you from what here. Was actually, the really, what was the really hot and heavy one that was really good that put you through everything rather than like over and onto smash. stuff? Smash is the big yeah, one. Yeah, so like right. if I move and I land here, I can smash you this way. Uh, and you would actually be smashed a number of spaces equal to the power dice I spent if I hit. <laughs> and so if I spent five power dice, you would literally go one, two, three, four, five. And you would have hit these two and that building because you went through and all of them. And they get destroyed, yeah. And so because that's three buildings, I would actually gain three power dice back yep. from yep. that attack. Um, the other thing you can do is you can actually just punch buildings down. Um, so if you punch a building specifically, you actually will notice like on this uh, posh apartments, which is hilarious, uh, it's got a five defense with an energy value below that of three. So if you punch that and destroy it and spend your attack to do that, you'll gain three power dice instead of the one from defeating yep. the building. Or you'll miss it. Yeah. Let's not forget that. Damien Smith here. This is amazing. Wow, I found you guys with your epic Monster Apocalypse video series. I loved that video. Yeah, that Monster Apocalypse tutorial we did a, a man, a long time I, ago with Dylan. I went back. <laughs> that's so funny, right? Yeah. So I went back and watched. I was started to watch that because I was like, yeah, it'd be an easy way to learn the rules. I couldn't make it. Um, <laughs> but it's really funny because we're in, uh, at the time we were officing during the summer out of my dad's old office. 
in Chelsea, Oklahoma. Very and professional. And it's very clear when you look at that video, like the background is hilarious, like hilariously bad. And then the funniest thing, I forgot about it, but it's like you're talking and it's got all these awesome effects that Jonathan put on there. And then it cuts to Dylan. And the first time it cuts to him, he like waves. And like Dylan's a friend. He was one of the friends that was living with Steven. But it was just funny because I remember like I was, I was in town and available. But yeah. like I used to be extremely shy. And so yeah. I, I was very much like I don't want to be on camera if I don't have to be, which is ironic now uh, <laughs> given that we're doing it five days a week <laughs> for all the time. You came around. Uh, so after you attack, you again, you have the push phase. So any action dice in your monster pool at that point you want to send back over, you can. Uh, and I, you know, one of the big goals of the game, right, is you get five, six, seven power dice. You do a move that costs you four or five power dice but gets you three or four back. You have action dice left. And you really, the, the tempo that most monsters want to do is one unit turn for every two monster turns that you're doing. And then I like to push the limit, which is like, personally, I would always lean towards monsters that could take... Apes did that well. Three or four they, monster they turns, turns in a row, a bunch of turns in or a row. five if you're. That's why I like Quantum Condo because he could just like power up. Power up. Uh, you want to clear the buildings to get started? Yep, let's clear it. So, uh, let's do this. I'm gonna put the fancy ones here in the middle. Worth noting too. So I've got we've we've we're down a couple of power dice. So I've got four just like placeholder die taking taking place. So I don't think there's anything weird going on there. That's not how things normally look. Do you, have, do you actually know what goes with what? Uh, or are you just doing them equally? Yes, I do. Man, the, and deciding what buildings to run was a big part of this, too. Uh, it was it was as big a part of your list building as your monster and your units. I'm maybe playing Nova, too. I'm playing Nova because we don't have any water commies. So a yeah, is I, out. I have a Quosia, but I just... I uh, have to buy them online or something. Don't. How many do we get each? I'm going to give you the statue. We get 12. Mm, I get the statue? Yeah, so basically... The Empire? The, the, remember this thing? The apartment buildings all have an ability where if whatever my faction is... So it was the apes and the dinosaurs from the first wave. Mm -hmm. If they punch this building, they heal, heal one. Yeah, you get to eat people. Yeah. Just That's like Rampage. Just, just like you would expect. Back yeah. in the day. Uh, so I'm playing uh, King Kondo. You bring your 12 to the to the game, and I don't even remember, do you remember how we determined first player? I just remember building this map in Photoshop. I remember we had contracted out somebody to design all these assets, and then they sent them in a folder, and then it was literally just build it in Photoshop. Yeah, I Look remember you it. talking about it, like pushing your... Uh, oh my gosh. Your, uh, it was so slow. My, my laptop could not handle what was going on. Isn't this crazy? I love the I little... I like, putting the outer glows on this. And like the, uh, trying to decide if that was good or bad. Honeycombs in here. Uh huh. That looks so cool. Yeah, the little grids in there, and all of these. It, it, he did a great job with this. I forget who we had had do it. Yeah. But they did a great uh, job. Also, we're saying these greens are spawn points. So if you're on this green space uh, mm -hmm. at the start of your unit turn, you can actually spawn units here. Yeah. Uh, is this a teleporter? Yes. So you can go from this space to any of these blue spaces. That seems right. Uh, this is the speed space. So literally free. free movement into this with your units. Was that new? Or had that been done on normal maps? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it had, right? Yep. We didn't do anything fancy. Cody cool. says the nostalgia is overflowing right now. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, each player rolls five dice. Whomever rolls the most strikes goes first. Makes and then sense. I remember second player would get to pick the map. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five. Yep. You see how this game's going We go. counted. <laughs> uh, so then we literally alternate turns uh, placing buildings. And, you know, before we place, let's, can you get those icons out? Yeah. Are I you got, gonna, how, <laughs> you're going to actually try to do this well? I got questions. I was well, just going to build a pretty map. I'm going to do that, but I need to know. Uh, this is the thing. So check this out also. You guys can watch, look at this. So here's our, uh, let's see it here. Here's the ability reference. These are all of the symbols and what they do. Now that's something. That is something. And I knew them all by heart. Can you tell Just me by heart. what the green thing up top means? Yes, I can. It's a circle. So it's a circle, which means it's an action. No, it's a trigger. It's a melee trigger. And it says disrupt. If target monster is in its hyper form and its alpha form has not been destroyed, apply damage and then replace it with its alpha. That can't be right. That's not right at all. Are there, like, building? No. 
skills, no. Wait, it gives you disrupt mm -hmm. green. So green. if you secure it, your monster gets it? So is that right? The color icons are basically, we were looking at this up just for the stream. So if something's red, it means any agenda figure adjacent to it also has that ability. Okay. Blue means every agenda figure on the map also has it. Mm -hmm. And green means all the figures in your force get it. So everybody gets disrupt if you secure that building. And that is, uh, you can apply damage and then replace it with it. So you basically you can power down into its yeah. alpha form. I remember this does a lot of damage to you as well. I'm gonna, we're going to look that up later. But let's do this. I'm going to put uh, right here. I remember yeah. that. Is that the stock exchange? That, that is the stock is exchange. So good. You have one too. And it, well, I've also got the empire. I've got the statue. I've got power in different area codes here. Yeah, you're going to need it. Now, one of the, my favorite things too is like you've got these power plants, and if you blow up a power plant, the monster next to it takes the damage, mm -hmm. which is a total money play. So you can stack them next to my spawn points and make me deal with it. And I've got to go in red, uh, green first, and then yellow. Oh yeah, that's right. So I have to rethink my entire strategy. That's right. That's why those are there. All right, let's do this. Clever. I remember insurance building is good to secure for some reason. Yeah, it's really it gives you like money if you fail at stuff. I'll look at mine. All right, we'll hold this. Do I one. have one? Everyone had the insurance HQ. Everybody had the insurance HQ. Literally everyone. <laughs> okay, I'll do this then. Uh, I'm going to put a power plant over here next to your spawn zone. Quit it. So if you look, there's a, uh, two red spawn zones. That's one of the two places your monster can start. Steven has two blue ones over there, so I am putting those electrocution uh, power plants next to him. So we've got on the... I'm actually not. <laughs> on the insurance I want, building. I want it in, I want it in the heat, heater. Insurance building has... Uh, force field, it looks like. I don't know. It's not It's not quite a perfect match, but I think that's right. Um, plus one defense against blast attacks if you're at the insurance headquarters. And then you've also got whatever that stack card ability is. Let's see. I remember doing this specific thing so often when we were learning. Oh, there's more down here. Oh, my gosh. There's so much more. I can this show is, oh, you shuffle. The okay, this is what it was. It was. Yep. If you're securing it before your power phase or spawn phase, you can push one action die from one dice pool to the other. How good? Yeah, that's 100 percent it. And then shelter doesn't seem to make sense, but I think that's right. I think that's it. Shelter, you can shuffle, and then it becomes a fire if you blow it up. Which can also damage you. It can damage you. That's right. All right. So Zach put a power plant here. So, I really want... So what I remembered is that the yellow spots are where you want your best, your starting buildings. Yeah. As an example, this yellow spot's next to two of my spawn points. Mm -hmm. So like if I had a Statue of Liberty, that was a pretty good spot for it. But you kind of don't want to block your spawn points either, you know? We made it, uh, this is smart. Good. Hidden saying if you, good if a building's ideas. destroyed while you have the insurance building, you get a power die. I remember that. Oh, yeah? Good luck proving it with those symbols. <laughs> OK. And then you had you wanted to mm -hmm. maximize units that were, were able to, to hit both building slots. OK. I, I'm on it. I remember that now. How about a, uh, I don't know. Nobody knows how this is supposed to work. Let's put an insurance building here. It's going to be a rough first game. Slash game. Slash the game. Oh, defense contractor. Let's put a defense contractor here. Those are good with... Uh, your, who's your monster? Nova? Nova, yeah. We'll put one there. Nova ES annoying. Lifesaver ring, yeah. It, insurance is what it's called. See if you can find it in there. I, I couldn't find it myself. Maybe it's in a different section than I was looking. And this defense cutter gives you like energy drain, I think, so that all your stuff can drain action die, which is really important. I can't find it, but I do remember that being the insurance building's ability. Yeah, insurance makes sense. All right, let's put the Tokyo Triumph. That was an important building too. It's just a dangerous part of town to be in. <laughs> 
Damien says, this isn't a new game, right? These no. are old models and old worlds. Yes, that's yeah, correct. Super, super old. Huh, they don't have, they don't Apparently, have any here. Uh, I believe it. Hidden saying it's once per attack, but doesn't care about the turn. It's just alarming it's not in here, right? Whatever happened in the rule book? Well, it could have come out after that rule book. I feel like the insurance was like from day one, wasn't it? Maybe not. It was in a map pack. Remember oh. those things? It came with a couple maps uh -huh. and a building. Uh, okay, well, let's put one. Uh... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like that's what I used to do, so I'm just going to follow my gut. I feel like someone's going to get... What's up, goat? Yeah, no worries. Going to get wham-bammed by all this damage I'm putting on the table. Um, I don't even know what happened to this football stadium. Put the insurance here. Mm-hmm. Mm, seems like a logical place for a stadium. <laughs> right next to the <laughs> Tokyo Triumph. That's our hip part of town, right? That's the Canal District right there. That's what I'm talking about. We're building, we're building something beautiful here. Galactus says insurance. If you're securing one or more buildings with insurance, get plus one power die when one or more buildings are destroyed in an attack. Government building. I remember that thing being annoying. They're all, yeah, they're all annoying, aren't they? Also, I just want to while you're looking at that. How did look we ever this, do this? Look at this model. Well, it was it was scaffolding, dude. We had one list, we figured it out, and we just mm -hmm. played it from there. I won this at Bashcon. And I love these angel wings on the back of this Defender Axe. I was pulling stuff out. I forgot I even had this. Yeah, that's insane. Just ludicrous. It's beautiful. Go ahead. Um, okay. Uh, Got to fill the green spaces first, eh? That's right. Still. Still a thing. All right, let's put the bank HQ here. That was an important thing, too. Yeah, it, seems, it sounds important. I don't know why, but I just I remember it. <clears throat> um, okay, now we're over on your side, aren't we? Basically, where do we want the crystalline so that we can eviscerate you on it is the question. Now, are you, you eat posh apartments, right? I eat them to heal, so back in my corner or something is not going to be a big deal. Yeah. All right. There's one. Mm. Hey, AJ, Adam, uh, do we have any interest in the new version of the game? We don't, um, <laughs> for a number of reasons. I mean, even if it wasn't Privateer Press, uh, who has, has burned a pretty big bridge with us, just company to company, um, just it being a hobby miniatures game is so tough. Like, you know, like games like Sky Terror right now are so nice because they're pre-constructed, the, the models look great, you can still paint, but you don't have to worry about the hobbying element of it. We do do Crisis Protocol right now, which is about as far as it goes, but like, it's hard to get that to the table because you gotta spend all the time putting them together and getting them painted up and all that. Um, so yeah, we, we have, have not checked out 2.0. And this is kind of now, it's kind of a, a bright spot in the past, and we're moving on. Well, and even, even if, I'll say this, uh, the reality that uh, a company would just go like radio silent on a game, that alone, that, that kept me off Wizards for... We almost didn't do Transformers for that reason, the yeah. Transformers TCG, because they punted Star Wars TCG in the same way. It's like, just tell us it's ending. Yeah. That's but they, they, they got better. They definitely fixed that with Transformers, yeah. um, even though there were some better. other issues. But that was also, like, I, I, don't, I don't suspect much has changed uh, over at Privateer, so uh, it would be hard to recommend or get into a game where that's how a publisher handles it. Damien Smith, finding someone willing to put in the brain-burning effort to play Monfalk was the biggest challenge of the game. That's right. It really looked, you weren't ready for what it was based on what it looked like. Because you weren't just like casually just smashing each other up. It yellows. was like deep strategy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's definitely more going on than you would predict. For so a satisfying like though. Uh, OK, now we get to the good stuff. Um, are you going to let me have like an Uber, Uber tower here? Nope. You can place disruptively so that your opponent, oh, you are going to let me have it. Well, if I don't let you have it, you're not going to let me have it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm not that player. But I am going to make this the most dangerous part of town. <laughs> uh, crystalline building, I, I remember it. It being is also sharp. Sharp, yeah, which yeah, stands to reason. Let's put it in here. Let's I like just, the empire and statue hanging out over let's there. Let's just make that really aggravating. All right, let's just. 
put heels all over the board for myself. Yeah, that's where you now come in. I used to have a list that did that with something. I can't remember what it was. Uh, how about a defense contractor here? No, we'll put the stock exchange here. That seems like right next to the power plant. It's a good idea. <laughs> Get away from my stuff. There's only so many spots. Oh, man, you got heels for days. They're everywhere, man. Okay. okay. So then I'm the first player, so I have to put my monster. Do you happen to, you think you could find an updated symbols list online? That was the last rule book. Well, they're not on here. I'm telling you, they're not what on What else here. isn't on there? Uh, I've looked for two things now that I can't find. Maybe it's just all the buildings? Yeah, the buildings are tough. Keep your hand. Don't, didn't we make one? <laughs> Can you search our site for this? I, it's got to be gone. We made right? we made a PDF list. Yeah, it's probably gone, but it, it was it was there at some point. Like, uh, what's on this? Uh, what's on this government building? The three stacks, the three money stacks. Does that um, ring any bells? You know, it's wait, like wait. it's not possible. Is it not in here? You can double check it. I trust you. Yeah, Tech, I, I, from all the changes that have happened uh, that I've heard about in 2.0, it definitely seems like a lot of the problems with 1.0 are being solved by that rule set, which is really nice. Um, very, very nice. Yeah, it's more the, the PP thing for us. Yeah, hidden. I love that Hammerclack is a good monster now. That's really amazing. Um, that was not the case in our day. No, it was not. Do you place your monster already? Yep. He's in the corner. In case you're having trouble hunting. I'm trying to think, you know, what should I really... I should maximize my movement uh, potential here. Bob Bochamp, what up? What's up, is Bob? Is this subsidized? I think it is subsidized. What's it do? What is the building? They'll know uh, it. It's the government building. We're going to need chat's help. Okay, Nova's coming in. This model was always about seven, seven hexes off of the base. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so like I found an icon here on the uh, stock exchange. Found one. Uh, the money circle, uh, your opponent loses a power die. It's an, nice. I believe the circles are actions, yep. Uh, the drain, the battery down. That's an energy drain, right? That's a, that's a power die. You lose a power die? Mm -hmm. Then the money symbol of inside of a square. Let's find that. Adds the boost to your power up. Oh, it's the same as a statue. Yeah, okay, so if the you money symbol? if you secure the right. uh, the money stack, uh, this thing, mm -hmm. you get a boost die on your power up. Oh, I could have used that. And then monument means you get an extra power die when you destroy it. Limited ribbon circle is you can in the flags the flags you can gain a power die or something. It's been an action die gain a power die. It's been an action die gain a power die. What's the ribbon? What's that thing? By a second mm. symbol there. Uh, beacon. Beacon. Advance your monster up to two spaces. Oh my even gosh. Even if it's advanced this Beacon, thing. I forgot action, about cost Beacon. You an action That's die, a yeah. serious ability right there. That's for uh, serious players only. So what's the one on the bottom right of that? Have you seen that? The R's come no, in? No. The, the stacks. Yes. Stacks on stacks. Insurance. Destroy A building's destroyed. You gain a power die? Oh, double insurance. Is that right? Yep. But you I think you can insurance. only do one per, like yeah. these two. So that's a... But I do remember securing that and then destroying a building and getting two back yeah. or an extra one, yeah. Sure enough. Beacon. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm going to just throw these G1s in here and just start shooting you because that's what I remember the most about this game. Oh, nice. Uh, this R for regulated is players don't gain power dice on their opponent's turns. Regulated mm. money at the old stock exchange. That's yeah, nice. Uh, well, I'm just going to get into it, yeah, and we'll figure go. it out as we go. Uh, I'm going to, this is all memory. Uh, I'm spending three, and we're going to spawn three stealth apes. I remember they go in first, always. <laughs> always the stealth apes. Now, the Earth Avatar is good on PowerPoints. Remember that. Oop. We have jump. And then we've got, uh, who did my securing? Rocket choppers? No, they were spotters. That's right, they were spotting. Do, 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 do. Uh, Command Dave's going to go here because he gives my friends some things. 
And then... Ugh, <laughs> Beacon. Dave Z saying we have three to four Covenant dice sets at home. Flower. What up, Dave Z? Right. I was, uh, your name's on here. So one of the things about this map is really cool is everyone's this first uh, Moncon's name's on here. Oh, uh, that's right. Dave and Ben are down here. Robert you guys Pertilla, are doing well. the Gramillions. Uh, so there's normally, Parks. there's normally five spawn zones, uh, which is the case. We just talked to Nate Parks here recently on Twitter. Then I'm going to move to these two. One, two, three. Can you only do one diagonal? Is that what it was? No, There's, you can do infinite. You can do... I think. No, yeah, I remember trolling across the board. Pretty, pretty significant. Well, maybe not. No, maybe not. I think it, it was, was one, one diagonal. diagonal per move, wasn't yeah. it? So one, two, three, four, five. Because I would have to redo my yeah, movement one diagonal. Isn't times. that crazy? Yeah. Wow. I totally, it just like, it was like muscle memory, dude. I just yeah. started doing it. I was like, wait, yeah. this feels wrong for this some reason. This is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, so this guy's moving one, two, three, four, five. Gotta and this trust. guy's going to go one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Um, and then that's it. I'm going right. to push. Gross. I spawn five units and move three of them. And then two of them are in the positions that I want. So yeah. here we are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now it's your turn. And I'm going to look up my icons while you're doing this. Okay, so do these, I just spawn these G1s and win, as I remember, right? I can't quite. So they, they give, they have boost dice that are good, right? Yes. And then they give boost dice as well? Like the elite gives them an extra boost dice? Yeah. They start with one, they move mm -hmm. eight, they have a short range attack of three. Also, we said blue. Man. How Every much agenda figure on the map oh also my gosh. gets berserk. Five here. My brain. Okay, so I want a unit here. I want a unit here. I okay, want a unit cool. here. I want a unit here. And then I need something here. Maybe that's the Earth avatars. Oh, you remember? We used to do this. Spawn yep. and move. I remember that distinctly. Yeah. Spawn and move. Spawn. Spawn and move. Spawn and move. Oh, really? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my gosh, I did this wrong. I did this so wrong. I I've made a mistake. It's <laughs> unbelievable how mistaked I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I remember balancing this map around G1s, actually. Yeah, because you hated them. Well, this is a busted. They can move eight. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I like any sense. I like the amount of angst I created in your <laughs> in your body for that. You mean the greatest unit for no reason on Earth? Five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Spawn that and move that. One, two, three, four, five. Spawn and move. I think I made it perfect for Earth avatars, though, so. Could have been my uh, bias showing. All right. Spawn one on glass Earth avatar. Spawn two. What up, Will? No uh, we're doing Earth the avatar. old rules. Spawn one Earth Kami. Spawn one, uh, doesn't much matter. Oh yeah, Tor you're giving me Tornadus? It really should be in my list, but I felt unfair. Yeah, it's fair. Tornadus was an elemental unit that was so good that every list ran it. You have to pay an extra action to spawn off faction. So I ran it in my apes list. It was that good, yeah? It was that good. It's aggravating. One here. <laughs> Galactus, mmm, Tornadus. Okay, and then we're gonna move. So I've got that tunnel thing. Uh, that's what I can go underground with these Earth avatars, right? Isn't that what that means? A little tunnel. I don't know, dude. That downward, that's what it has to mean. Yeah, what? burrow, the little burrow looking icon. Down drill. Sure. I'll tell oh, you. only the glass one does. These things were incredible, no wonder. One, two, three, four, five. It's called burrow. Yeah. Moves through figures and trees, all terrain is open terrain. Is immune to hazards while advancing. Because okay. it goes underground. 
That changes things. I thought the <laughs> other one doesn't have that. Bob says, Tornadas, if only you could get one. Yeah. They were not easy to get because people wanted to keep them. <clears throat> one, two, three, four. That seems like something I should be doing. Um, this guy will move. Two, one, one, one. Oh, these are in the wrong place. I'm just going to move them all. This guy will go. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Something has gone wrong. Or, uh, I, I think I want the statue more than I want anything else. You do. Yeah? You get that extra boost die and the power up? All right, so we'll send one back and make this into a, a chopper. Get to the chopper. G1, since they move so much. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I've got one left over. What do you want to do with it? Push? Mm, dude, you're schooling me. You got both of those giant monument buildings, you're going to get all the power dust. crazy. Yeah. Like, I saw that, and I was like, ah, that was what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> I also remembered Kondo's thing. He has um, this ability, hold on, called... Oh, I'll spin that to just get off of my spawn point here. Uh, Berserk. So when he punches a building, he can immediately make a um, rampage... Among other things. William Hepler, are you here? He is. What's up? Yeah, we're doing the old old rules and what we what we know. What we know, what we love. Consulting the compendium. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get more coffee. This uh, is hilarious. Yeah, mom dude, look at Riot is Galactus the on the on the judge here. Robert on the judge. He was Monument he was head Oscar, judge yeah, back he then. Judge. Monument only on the, that's why he makes a great operations director. Robert, you still have all your stuff? I bet he doesn't. I don't know. He has, I think, a magic deck still. Yeah, had to sell three of them to. To, to exist back in the day. Yeah. Talk about talk about the greatest story, really, having to sell your magic decks so that you can continue to work at Covenant. The truest form of commitment. To, in order to pay rent. <laughs> so he has Riot. So literally, if he punches a building, he can immediately make a, um, where is that? Uh, rampage stomp or ram power attack with the dice in play. So he can punch a building and use the same exact dice to immediately. So like, as an oh, example, yeah, the old punch ram, ram, a really right. good move is if he's here and I set it up correctly. He can punch this building <laughs> and rampage into both of those buildings yeah. and gain a whole bunch of power dice. Yeah, that's right, that's right. But yeah. I didn't, no, that's and that's fine. a bad yeah, building to run start, into. And, we're just yeah. going to start slapping. Yeah, it's, it, okay, so I'm going to go with uh, King Kondo. So, so bef before we do, give me a rundown of what Kondo does so yeah. everybody at home kind of has a full appreciation. Yeah. So the first thing he has is that riot ability. Right, right. And it's got okay. the, uh, the melee attack. So if he and punches... So he's supposed to punch a building and then go shoot off in one direction and make life and miserable. And he can punch anything. Anything. That's right. Okay. He, if he punches, he can then, with those same dice, as long as there's at least one power die in it, can stomp, ram, or rampage. He's also got Berserk Blue. So all of your units have blue Berserk on their brawl attacks? Blue just means they all get it, which yeah. is they get plus one uh, boost die on all their punches. Great. So all yeah. your stealth aids. So are my stealth aids are one, two on the boost die, which this is really good. This was my favorite thing about monsters in this game. Yeah. What you they gave your units, your units and yeah. what you gave your army. Then he's got <sighs> jump. He's got jump, so he can hop over buildings, uh, which is not that crazy. And then he's got where is it? At? I remember I played this mo motivator. All my agenda figures that start their advance next to him get plus one speed. That's right. Right. Uh, and then he's got super swat, so he can swat from seven away instead of five. So that command ape can, oh, that super swat is the jam. Yeah. It's not as good as the annihilate swat. But swat for two? Yes. Oof. But a no long, long, long range swat is like crazy. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's what he can over, do. Let me go down Nova ESR yeah. while we're here. Also, Zenata on YouTube, you're awesome. Oh my god. I played the heck out of this. This was my first miniatures game. You guys are the best. I can't wait for my Rise of Red Skull to come in. Love you guys. Hey, thanks so much. Love you too, in, in the the only way that I can from Here's the a distance question. through a screen. Uh, I don't know how to say that name. Zionata? Yeah, Zionata, yeah. Uh, did you follow us at all back in the Monpok days? Or is it totally crazy that you didn't uh, and then now you are? 
I see a lot of old people that have been around for like a decade, which is crazy. Okay, give me blue, uh, give me running a sprint. man circle. Okay. I think it's one action die for three spaces. I get all, all my army gets that? Yeah. I do remember that. Sprint, advance this figure up to three spaces, even if it has advanced this turn. I cannot believe that's in my brain. Yeah, it's all here. Isn't that amazing? Uh, hit and run, blast, move <laughs> yeah. three. Yeah, dude. Hit, do you have to hit with the blast to move uh, three? Let's see. Let's see. Nova was just the peskiest monster that there was. Yeah, thanks for playing it. Well. Just kidding. Well, you wanted to play a closure, but proxy. Hit and run. Advance this figure up three spaces, even if it's advanced this turn. Okay. You have to shoot on it. So yeah. you just shoot, and then you can move three. Do triggers only hit if you hit? Yeah. OK, that was great. Because you could remember, really just punch Yeah, sometimes turn. it's like, like I remember with Kondo, it's like I need to punch a building, and then I can do this crazy yeah. thing. <laughs> and you just miss the first one. You're like, uh, OK. Now I'm going to get thrown yeah. into like 20 damage. Uh, what is the lightning bolt trigger? I believe it's a lose an action die or something, lightning bolt. Or yep. lose a power die, maybe. Uh, so it's, it, honestly, there's really just not that, there's not that much here. Uh, lightning attack. Once each turn, this monster can make a second attack of the same type with dice and play against the same target. Oh my gosh. So, so I can and shoot. She has flight. I can shoot twice. Mm -hmm. I have flight, and after every successful shot, I can move three. Yeah. Boom, move three, boom, move three. She's okay. very mobile. Okay. Great. And then once we get to the uh, the mega form, I will uh, make a choice. I'll make a choice. <laughs> okay. Well, I will. Uh, I'll I'll read that one down. How many? You have that. your health set correctly. Nova ESR has five health for some reason. Yep. Should be like. Two. Well, I think it's because she moves so much. That's low. So six is is like a big number, and seven is like insane. Seven's huge, yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right. Galaxy Lightning Strike. That's right. Okay, go on, Monster Man. All right, so I'm going to power up. Power up. I got a hit. So I'm on one, two power zones, and I have a building. So I gain three power dice. Mm, pathetic. Then he's going to move six. Uh, and where's your monster? Great. Because uh, that's going to change my maneuver. Wait, Statue of Liberty, does that... That gives you the... You can spin on your unit turn, spin an action die to get a power die? If it's blue. No, it's not. Where's but that? when can you use it? That little flag ability. Oh, Isn't you that? use an action on your monster turn. On your monster turn. But you have turn. to be controlling it on... With your units, okay. right? Okay. So there was that. That was kind of the back and forth where you can set something up, and I have an opportunity to disrupt it. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to spin an action die, and Kondo is going to move. He has a six movement, so I go one, two, three, four here. Uh, then he's going to do a melee attack, so he gets three boost dice. <laughs> this is actually fantastic. <laughs> I have to spend at least one uh, action die. I'm trying to punch this building. It's got a five defense. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to say. You're not going to roll those this dice. Is, this That's is the math, right? Roll. I'm not, I'm not done. Yeah, I'm not, is our dice calculator still not, up somewhere no, in that weird it's world? Not. No, it's not. It's not. Uh, so <laughs> I'm going to spend uh, a couple dice. So I'm going to go, I'm going to add two power dice. Two power dice? You're getting how many back? Three? Well, I'll punch and I'll get three. Uh, because I have insurance, I'll get a fourth. Mm -hmm. And then because of my ability, I can immediately make a... Um, rampage, right? Rampage, stomp, or ram. So I can literally just stomp that building down. Then I would gain one from destroying this building and another one from the entrance. What does Ram do? Is that a building destruction type? I have type no attack? idea what Ram does. Okay, let's get our, let's get our, here, give me the book. I'll look it up while you roll these dice. The power here. attacks are right here, by the way. I'm just going to get you there. Building actions are on units. Attraction. That's right, William. That's what I thought, right? So I'm going to take that back and gain a power die. Okay. That's right, because I remember you secure the statue and then you use the ability to get the. You're on the power attacks page. Uh, so, two, three, four. Oh, four. ram is where you hit things on the other side of the building. There it is. Yeah. Um, so, the math, I remember us calculating this, right? So, basically, for every three boost dice, you, uh, you should get about two hits. Mm -hmm. Every power die is worth about one, because mm -hmm. um, there's one blank, five, four hits, and a double. Uh, and then these are 50-50, so two of these equals one. So it's like one, two, three, four, five is like statistically likely. Statistically likely. But I'm going to do this. Oh, my gosh. Because I don't want to miss. And if I do miss, I'm just going to flex my dice over and, and be gone. Uh, and I'm actually going to put an action die back. All right, you ready? Yeah. Trying to punch this to Posh Apartments. They had it coming. Got it. 
Nailed it. All right, so I hit six. So I destroy this, and it actually becomes uh, rubble. It doesn't have any fancy symbols, so I put a rubble down. Uh, it has three power dice on it, so I get three. And then it's... Uh, I have insurance, so I'm going to take this. You get it from me? No. That's, that's, oh, that's your actual power dice? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have one of your power dice? I, I, these have to, I have to roll these again. Okay, yeah. Do I just want to, what do you want to just, oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying, yeah. Uh, then he's going to immediately make a stomp attack mm -hmm. with the same dice because I'm triggering his ability. You don't want to stomp your own stuff, huh? No. Actually, one, two, three, four. I'll rampage that way. So here's how rampage works. I got a lot. Nine. You have to hit the defense of everything you're rampaging through, is that right? Uh, if you don't hit the defense of a building you're rampaging into, stop. you stop. Yeah, that's right. Because it, it, But I got a lot of hits. So rampage, you go your full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Everything in your wake is destroyed, so this building's going to get destroyed. Did you move this turn? Yeah. You can't rampage if you've moved. Ah! But you could step. You could step and then rampage. I remember that was a big one. <clears throat> well, I can't. I have to hop over the building. You could just stomp. So instead. I'll just stomp instead. Yeah. Could have been. Could have been good. So then I will get two uh, power dice back because I destroyed a building, and also because I have insurance. The building didn't have monument or anything, did it? Uh, I don't think so. Yep. Yeah, and so you check the defense of everything you're rampaging through as you go, and then if you ever fail, you fail. <clears throat> yeah, we got it. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> We got it. Okay. Uh, William, yeah, I, you can't have more than 10 power dice, but I only have like 14 power dice uh, among us because I have my set of 10 plus the like trophy dice we did way back. I'm going to just mark my power dice part with boosts for now, and then I'll just start transferring them like that. Okay. All right, so time for me to power up, eh? I've got the Statue of Liberty. It gives me a boost die. Woo! You see that? That's the old heart attack roll right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's that's a three. When you miss on the boost, that's when you're like, oh, this roll is gone. And it's Chase, over. this is the original version of the game. Uh, okay, so calculating the power up. Monument's going to happen once. So I'm going to secure one building and two building. Yep. And I've got a power zone over there. We'll cover that in a so second. That's three. Two buildings, one for a monument. There's got to be one for something else. There's another one somewhere. No? I don't think so. Just three? Mm-hmm. Yep, I think that's right. Gain three die. And then I also have a power zone. So I'm going to gain one here, but the Earth Avatar has got that on a power zone get mm, double, I think. Doublies, yep. And that, is that right? I remember that. So I get, feel like that's right. I'll get an extra. Okay. It's actually wildly awesome to have this game back on the table. It is really nice, yeah. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Okay, so now I kind of want to cause trouble. Sure. Short range is three, two to three? Two or three, yep. Uh, the ability is called Amplify, by the way. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Robert. Six. Um, Can you hand me that? Oh, I got it. I need to start looking at all this stuff, because... I, also, I don't want to be here. This is not where I need to be. But I that kinda, second icon is hit and run. Yeah, I kind of got to get into your uh, into your your grill before things go weird. Maybe I go right to Mega. Mega. Two, Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got to make like pockets and stuff. That's what this guy's all about. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna power up. Oof. Mm-hmm. Wait, which one do I like better? This one's easier to use. I'm gonna use the normal one. It's not in here. Does anyone remember what temporal does? Mm, I remember that, yeah. Isn't that weird where you have to spin a, quant a power die every turn or you have to go down or something? Does Maybe. that sound familiar? Also, what do the red stats mean? Only if you have a certain number of power die, like if you have more than five or something. It, it's quantum stuff. You've really done yourself uh, no favors. When do you power up? After the power up roll? Can you go up to hyperphase? Uh, power up hyperphase? 
Say that again. Power up first, then hyper phase. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna hyper hyper up. Power up. So you have to spend a power die every turn, or you have to, every turn you activate your monster, you go down. What do the red stats mean again? Aren't they boosted if you have a certain number of yeah, power? Yeah, it's like that. It's boosted by the quantum value, I think. Boosted by two or something is a weird mechanic. Uh, let's see. So then we'll spend one to move. I got a seven movement. You gain an eyelight if you power it. Four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Hidden elephant saying you lose a power die automatically every turn, but if you uh, do all your damage is super damage. Ah, uh, it's all coming back to what me. Did, what does the double bullet symbol mean on uh, on a trigger? Double bullets. Um, bullets stacked. Rapid fire. Just is that kidding. right? <laughs> Multi shot. Two, choose up to two other enemy units in the blast range of this figure. Those with a defense equal to the less than the number of strikes rolled take a damage. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, bonus stats based on power up cost. Yeah, so uh, Quantum Condo, his speed is a seven, but it's a plus two if I have five or more power dice. On his power attacks, he gets his two boost dice, but it's four if I have at least five power dice. Okay, I'm gonna end up there as my move, and then uh, I'm not much of a brawler, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot anyway. And is the five power dice? I assume that's a requirement of number of dice I had before making the attack. Ah, let's cause some trouble. Step. Step, step, one, two, three. All right, have at the ape. Shooting at your... Uh... Can you see through stealth? <laughs> you have stealth? Stealth ape, it's in the name. Oh, uh, yeah. They got that little cloak. What do I have to do to, to hit it? I don't think you can. <laughs> you know. Uh, let's see. Cloak figure cannot be targeted by blast attacks from three or more spaces away. So I gotta get here instead. Yep. Two away. Set myself up for this. Uh, you know it. This uh, attack. Why? I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> now, that, now that we've seen it, we've seen our options here. Let's just let's just reset. Reset and think about our lives. I like it. I like it. Um, <laughs> let's go three for the power up. So let's go step, step. We were having to lay this out. Mm -hmm. You do one at a time, and then, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Step. All right. Who's laughing now? Uh, shoot. Counterattack. All right, ape. Three boost. All the action die and cast to the rock. What's your defense? Uh, three. Three. <sighs> Hits. All right, every time you defeat a unit, you get a power die. Gain a power die. Hit and run triggers. One, two, three. Ah, uh, let's block the portal in case you get frisky. And then, uh... And also, that. like... Making it so that my monster can't fit. Like technically, if you were here, I'd have to be able to get over here to get to. Ah, uh, you can't do that. Okay. You could fit the other way that way. So. But it's further. Yeah, it's a little further. You do. All right. All right. I like it. Done. All right. Are all, all are all your action now back over to units? Yes, they are. Don't know where they are, but yeah, there they are. Done. All right, let's go with my boy. Oh, yeah, sprint. Good sprint. Uh, let's go with King Kondo. <laughs> so I've, I've done what, it, this is a common thing too, right? Which is like basically sequencing the turns where I can get behind you on the monster turn mm -hmm. or behind you on the unit turn so I can disrupt you. Very classic uh, maneuvering thing. I'm going to just go crazy. Let's go step, 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 four steps. I'm not going to power up. That's it? Nope. 
Uh, then I'm going to the rampage. Punch that building. Mm. Yeah, you know I'm about to rampage all the way up <laughs> on there. <laughs> Got it. So this goes away. And I gain three. Is it a fire one? Uh, yep. Becomes flames. So if we land on that, we get hurt. <laughs> uh, so I gain three power dice. Technically, I've got three, six. So I can only gain four on this first attack, even if I could gain more. So it's four is technically what I actually gain straight up. So I'm using those to mark it. So I gain four, and then he has the super rampage ability. So mm -hmm. now I'm going to rampage straight into your base. Bring it on. Uh, with the same dice. So I need, what's the defense of the empire? Seven. seven. So I need a seven. Serving up condo, the old appetizer. For the G1s. <laughs> okay, so he's going to go movement? one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to. He was here? Uh, one back here. Yep, so he'll two, not three, quite. Four, five, six. He won't crush your avatar. So I'm alive. But it's two buildings, three buildings, and a unit, and one's a monument. Yes. Two's a monument. Both are monuments. I don't know if it, uh, how many times it triggers, though. Can I, so it's definitely three buildings in a unit, Fire. and then there's two monuments. Do I gain one or two extra dice from that? I don't gain any extra. And then do you take a damage if you end on fire? Or is it just when you, you move? You definitely do, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take a damage from that. But that's exactly what King Kondo would do. One monument. One monument. So I have nine power dice currently. So you take a damage. You're sitting there, and you've got nothing now currently. Yep. Very nice. Love it. OK. <clears throat> Stick says, guys, I've waited for this for so long. I first found your videos when I found out about this game in 2012 and found you on BGG. Uh, found a guy on BGG that shared all of your old podcasts on Dropbox. That's actually hilarious. I didn't know those were still out there in the either. They're there, man. They are there. Um, OK, so now I need to spawn units. OK, first things first, we know there's a G1 coming in here, because you've got to die. Yep. Second thing we know is. Oh, and this is gone. Yeah, it's just gone. Is that rubble? It's a flame. The building's on fire. We'll do G1 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, yeah, here. And then, uh, how does spotter work? Minus one defense. Have you get that chopper in there? Yeah, that's right. So two on the elite, one on the thing. One on the chopper. Get to the chopper. Also, every unit that you can combine attack. Mm -hmm. Every unit that is attacking has to contribute at least one action die, but then you also get their boost dice. So, like, if you want to attack with three G1s, you do three action dice plus you get all their boost dice. All of the boost. So one to go. One, two, three, four, and flying things can't hold points. So I do remember that. Five. Spotters in the three or two? Two. Okay. And then one to move this. What a scene. All these choppers and helicopters no, going no, no. to one, deal two, with the eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold on. Let's do this. Divided by. I'm going to get a great mm -hmm. picture. All right. Give me just one second. You're good. I'm just going to take a picture and talk to the folks. So if you're in, if you're in chat right now, I'd love to know, did you play version one? Uh, and if so, what, what got you into that game? And if you didn't, uh, have you ever played this or the second version? And uh, how'd you hear about it? And what's your favorite? Who's your favorite monster? It's crazy revisiting all this. It's like, you know, you get really into a game for two or three years. It's just in your brain in like a weird kind of way, not not necessarily to be good. Immediately though, like I'm realizing 
my whole my whole game plan is not great. Uh, <laughs> I, I did everything, just about everything wrong. But the thing I loved about Kondo is I felt like if you played him well, he was actually like weirdly good. Uh, but you had to play him well. Or yeah, he get was, super aggressive. He was very bad. Okay, so King Kondo's defense is like nothing, right? Yeah, it's five. So this is what I remember being really good. And isn't there something good? He gets a power die if he hits something. Fire Kami, that little angry face in the star. And then Ignite, of course there's Ignite. But they nerfed Ignite. Yes, they did. <laughs> I was I, there. I remember that Robert was on two plays. I wasn't either. I, I would have ultimately been a, uh, what was the name of the fire uh, cat, the monster? Uh, Incinerous? Rage. After this figure hits an attack, gain a power die. Okay, so we've got three G1s and a fire Kami, all of which can participate here. So I'm going to do my first attack. We're going to do these two G1s are going to launch the attack. So that's going to be one action die for this one, one action die for this one. They're both going to bring two boost die because they have an elite within uh, mm -hmm. two. So have, you spotters, have a chopper, so I'm minus so one. So you're at four defense. So first attack here misses somehow. Blushitans. Second attack here and here. Got me Hits on that one. for days. I'm going to gain a power die for rage. And you'll lose one health. I like seeing, I asked people if they played and who their favorite monsters were and, and a few uh, random questions while you were gone. I like this. Uh, Michael says, played it like crazy. Cthugrash, Takakta says, Olgoth. I remember Olgoth. Uh, Terrence, Incinerous, etc. Dave Z saying, uh, played V1 with SoCal Community. I remember that. Uh, local players got me in. TC got me hooked. Dynastivus is my girl forever. I remember. I remember Dynastivus for sure. Will uh, saying, I do have... Uh, all my TC maps and stuff just never found an Atlanta community. Yeah, definitely a hit and miss on the community side. Lars was in the Navy. What up, Lars? Hope you're doing well. In the Navy, ship caught fire, so in port for a couple of months, randomly went to San Diego Comic Con, walked past Privateer booth. They were handing out Mega Terracons. I was hooked to that moment. Always been a huge Kaiju fan. Favorite monster is still Kraken Noctis. Hepler on Oshroth. I remember that, William. Was that the uh, combiner? The... Uh... What were they called? It's just tentacle monsters. The, the what Cthulhu was guys. What was what, what, the, the morph? Oh, yeah, the morpher with the four the tentacles fork. going around. Bilal played that to a degree that, Wasn't that awesome aggravated off? me. I think it was. Yeah, I think it was. All right. You did it. I did it. Did a damage. Mine? That's the rare two damage monster turn, by the way. Or unit turn? Unit turn. Two damage? Yeah. yeah. Could, could have. Could have been a contender. All 85%. right. 85%. One of the best quotes of all time. It's time. Mm, I remember doing this kind of weird stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I have this uh, Pterodactics mm -hmm. who can tow, spin an action to grab yeah. a unit from tow, some anyway. Tow is important. And I was just looking at this uh, airborne ape. So I want to. Where's the radar in? array for this list? Do you not have the radars? <laughs> Are you crazy? Give all your G1s long range? They don't need it. You never did that? No. <laughs> they just move eight. Long range is for people that don't have game. Man. No one did it back in the day. I don't know. I would do it for Nova. I would well, like I wasn't to give her Nova. long range. I was playing Sky Sentinel. Oh, yeah. He probably already had, he had live, long range plus eight. And yeah. then 20 damage he, per he attack. Basically, it's just like, yeah. you can shoot anything on the board. How about that? <laughs> um, let me look up. Do you remember what that bomb dropping ability is with these airborns? No, I do not. Bomber. You dropped the bomb on me. Mm, they can shoot at range one. I got it. All right. Let me think. So, where I go? Man, the game's all about not letting anyone get base to base, really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This is this is gonna be some fancy footwork. 
You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, spawn an elite uh, airborne ape here. I'm going to spawn a pterodactyx here. I'm going to spawn my stealth ape here. And then move, Jeez. tow, move, move, attack. What's up? Oh, no, wait. OK, I remember that. Yeah, never mind. OK, uh, so I'm going to pay. I spawned all these, which we're happy about. Then I'm going to move one here. I'm going to move the pterodactics. One, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Then I'm going to tow. Here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move one, two, three, four, five, six. Then he's going to attack, and he's just gonna shoot uh, range. It's two dice plus a boost. At G ones have two defense, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. Which one? Which one's your elite? Swattable. Uh, this one. Uh, so range gonna shoot there. Mm -hmm. He also has radial attack, so he'll hit anything he's next to. Makes sense. Three? No, no, no. He, he hits that and then anything he's next to. Oh, so your he's base, next yeah, to. Yeah, your base uh, G1s are fine. Are fine. OK. Uh, then I'll gain my 10th power die. And it's your turn. OK. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, and then we've got Sprint. OK. Dave, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, he says, just to make you feel old, Benzi is now 18, 6 1, and a freshman in college. That's incredible. That's awesome. I hope he's doing well. He was a great kid. Incredible. What up, Aaron? This is Monster Apocalypse, a miniatures game from 2008. How much health do you have? Four left. Don't make me angry. A power attack will do one. Uh, hitting a building does one. Hitting a sharp building does one extra. Yeah. Right? And then if you go through like seven fires, you take seven damage. Yeah. If you get I wouldn't take not fire a throw, damage. but like a smash. Yeah. If you yeah. smash me through, I wouldn't take fire damage from a fire I'm already in though. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Unless you body slam me. Like if you pick me up and <laughs> put me back into the fire, that's different. Okay, let's see. Huh. Okay. All right. I, I'm with it. I'm hip. Hip and with it? I'm hip and with it. Uh, let's power up. We're going to use... Power up. Statue's does gone. It, does that really matter? So it's only for two. And I can only have two more. Yeah. I'll just take Spend one. Spend one on it. One crack at it. This. Uh, then we'll do, let's see, six. I can't move after I attack, right? That's not this kind of a game. Right, but it's you. It's all in order. Yeah. You do have hit and run, which is. Yeah, it's nice. Similar. And when I'm sprinting, what does it say? You can move three. Can I move like through stuff? Oh, you move through, yeah, yeah, definitely. Hmm. Yeah, so sprint can let you hop over a building. That's nice. It, if you do it, like the depends on the position, but like obviously three wouldn't be enough to get you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I feel that. One, two, three. So you gotta ask the question. What are you going to get into? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, I'm going to go ahead and power up. Hyper up? Power up. Hyper up. Power up. Dude, the hyper forms is such a simple but amazing mechanic. Yeah. And I also love that it was like. 
just a translucent model for most of them. It's like just now knowing what I know, like from a production standpoint, it's like the alpha, which is always seems like the like more basic character, was definitely the more expensive thing to produce. Oh, one hundred percent. Which is funny. Okay, let's go here. You moved. Moved, and then I'm gonna sprint. One, two, three. Did I do that right? No. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah. I did that right. Um. Then I gotta ask myself a question. Do you feel lucky? Do you feel lucky? What's my brawl stat? Trying to punch two. your building. One plus two. You know that 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 could hit. You don't want to sleep on the fact that that could hit a four. Anything's possible. Yeah. It's just not the right thing to do. I had to get rid of that chopper. <laughs> get to the chopper. What's the three dots do on this? It's really wild revisiting this. It is, isn't it? It's fantastic. It's like, there it is. I, f I feel like it's like, uh, you know, and this is a hilarious comparison, but like if you had like an athlete who played and then like they came back to their sport like 20 years later, they know that fit, like how to, how to be good and they know they could, how much better they could be. You know, you could be good. Yeah. yeah. I remember just like really being able to see through on this and be on a different level. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Pass it to you. All right. You got a bunch of action dice left. We're going to play this game. I'll, I'll take, actually, you know what? I'm going to take a crack at that building. Which one? This guy. The one that can heal me. Apartment building. Why? Yeah. Why? Let's see if we get four. Got it. We did. So I'll gain two power die. This guy's a rubble, right? Yep. It's a boring one. Just a good old apartment building. Condo's hungry. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. I gotta end. How do I end where you can't hurt me? <laughs> oh, I can't. Uh, I that's not you true. Have jump, right? You have jump? Yeah. You can just like walk through that, can you? So, technically, if you're here, I'd have to be able to get to that spot. Mm -hmm. And I only have six movement. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Can't get there. If I was here, one, two, three, four, five, six, I can't get there. That's right. Okay. We'll do it that way. Them's the beats, yo. All right. Building done. Once you have an exposed side, you're just going to lose. All right, I'm going to hyper up. <laughs> I love the look of this quantum condo. Always will. All right, so a few things. He has, uh, as long as he's got... Uh, when he's in this form, his uh, attacks do plus one damage. Mm -hmm. He has an, whatever that ability He'll is. He'll annihilate or whatever. Yeah. He also has punch, hit and run, and sprint. His red stats get boosted by his hyper cost if I have uh, five or more power dice. So he's got plus two to his speed and also his boost on his power dice. If you have attacks. what power dice? If I have five or more. Oh, well, then this plan doesn't work. I, I, he, he can't jump. Oh, okay. He's, okay. he's a ground pounder. He's a ground, ground, bound, a groundy. ground bounded down. Mm -hmm. um, and now I just have to decide what's going to happen here. Because I don't want to get tossed into that electrical building. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's just going to uh, move here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swap that G1. Swat on. So I get four boost dice. He's got a two defense. Two defense, yeah. And then how many defense does Nova have? Six. All right, so <laughs> two, three. Oh, yeah, because you roll for both. You roll for the unit, and then you roll for the monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven. No, I need. So when you swat, you basically you roll an attack against a unit, and then you can swat it up to five away usually. Do you have the super thing? Super swat, yeah. So seven. So seven for me. Does the quantum version have that? What's the symbol for it? Um, no, he doesn't have super spot. Let me make sure I can still reach here. I can't. So and it's um, from the monster, not the unit, if is I remember it? correctly. 
Then I'll go here. Only if I remember correctly, though. One, two, three, four, five. You can do it there. Yeah. Yeah, and I'll still swat the same guy. I think it's from yeah. your monster, yeah. Okay, so you're swatting this one, and then it's from, from your monster, yeah. I think it's five from the monster. So you roll on the unit, and then you're basically swatting into the monster, and then you do one damage normally. I think you do two, because you got an ability or some such. All right, let's do this. How many is your defense? Six. Four. OK, let's swap the G1. Swap on. Sometimes you just miss that, too. Got yeah. the G1. <laughs> this uh, this one, Yep. you said? And then I will, actually, no. Let's swap the other one. OK. Because if you're going to come and get it, that's definitely where I want you to be. <laughs> Yeah. All right. And then I'll try to hit Nova with a SWAT. Got it? Six. Yep. Take two. Two damage. No. Yeah. Take two and call me in the morning. OK. And now the game is afoot. The game is afoot. I can't see your health. You could smash me. I, I can't. Can I do that after I, I move? I can't, mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, I think you might have to move. Get that momentum going. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Pockets. Pockets of units. So if I did one, 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 one. Let's start with trying to power up for nothing. Got it. Two on. Mm-hmm. So two, four, six, eight. So we could throw you into those posh apartments. And do it's a spire, right? Mm-hmm. Do three. Your counterattack. Power plant, if I land on that, does a bunch. So you take one from the building and then one from the electric. Electric then... dash. Yeah. And uh, is is the uh, is sprint, can that be used after an attack? I can't remember. It's an action. I feel like that was kind of the point. Like you could attack and then sprint away. I don't know. I'm pretty certain you can. We will. Because it was the most first. Didn't Mega MZM do that or Ultra MZM or whatever? Where he would shoot you and then he'd die and just like ev evaporate. Let me look. That companion. was miserable. To Cactus saying you can, yeah. Yeah, that's right. It seems good. That's exactly how that works. OK. So we're going to move. Mm hmm. You can do actions before and after moving and before and after attacking. Nice. This is the condo way. Mm -hmm. I gave you the uh, <laughs> opportunity. You had one shot. Don't miss a chance to blow. I got that. Fancy six defense. I feel like Sky Center was seven, right? Just he, he, was like eight. he was like Seven eight. defense. He was eight. Long range. He has the radar Three, two, on him. Four, five. Oh, there you go. That's why you never run it. Yeah, I was like, literally, I never once thought, I should run a radar. Which is nice, because I didn't have to buy the radar. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else needed them. <laughs> yeah, good point. Good point. So I think I'm going to throw you for two. That seems better than shooting you for, I'm going to throw you for three or shoot you for two. I could body slam you into the electric. That's not ideal. Then you would take one. Then I would take one. Don't want that. Could smash you here, do one, two, and kill one of my units. Not ideal, also. This is the jam right That's here. That's the jam. That was the. All uh, right, so we got to go one, two, three, four, five. Five power die at least. That was the, uh, the, the bait that I laid out there. Oh, yeah. Your genius plan, et cetera, yep. et cetera. It's always yep. a genius plan, right? Indeed. I've never um, had an un ingenious plan. Uh, and I can have two boost. 
I felt like that was always the thing with Kondo is like, because he's groundbound, you have to get your opponents ground out to play. Down. And that's one of the cool things about this game is there's a little cat and mouse because there's only six health. Like, this attack's about to do three if Steven hits. There's not a lot of health. So you had to really take your opportunities. Uh, but it also didn't ever feel like you could just wait it out. Like, you, you kind of needed to go at some point. Yeah. Because buildings start to disappear and all that kind of stuff. Um, but one of the things with him is being aggressive so that your opponent had to basically, like, take the trade. Uh, and the thing he can do is stay in hyper several, like, stay in monster several turns in a row because he has those four boost die on his power attacks, which is crazy. Okay, so let's see. These should all hit. Three, six, seven, and then we got... Are those are power dice? Do no, want? these are actual boost. Okay. Actual boost. Um, swap me in. Uh, swap me in a real power die. Okay. So six power die should hit. That's six easy. Seven without thinking. Seven and, seven half. and a half. Yeah, you probably have like upper eighties percent chance of hitting. Let's let's go one more. Hit me with the juice. You're in the nineties now. <laughs> You're in the nineties now. All right, let's try. <laughs> For real though. <laughs> Got it. Got him. You, you want to toss me? Huh. One, two, three, four, five. On the spire, on the fire. <laughs> I remember back in the day, we would literally put the appropriate tile under each building at first. Yes, we would. And at some point, someone was like, why don't we just put the tile under if the building gets destroyed? And it's like, <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, but so it was so much easier and cooler. One for the know? flame, one for the building, and one because it was a sharp building. That's right. One back for destroying a building. You get one for insurance. Yep. Um, that policy's paying off. Yeah. And then one to sprint. Here. Mm hmm And then um, I think I'm going to roll down to hangout mode. Okay. Done. Sprint is the jam. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. The sacred text. <laughs> sacred texts. Okay. Uh, I have to spend a power die to stay in quantum. I'll do it. Hmm. <laughs> I'll do it. And then let's. I need I need to set it. I need an insurance policy as well. Mm-hmm. Insurance policies are good. Good to have. How many can you move with a hit and run? Hit and run is three. I think I think all they were integrals of three when you did weird movement, which is one of the better things. And this one. So I move and swap. How about swap being the best move in this game? It's good. It's always the best. You remove a unit and you do damage, and he has. Uh, Double damage swap. Yeah, Quo should live that life so hard. I remember that. It's you had like, Annihilate, right? That was the, the only thing machine. you could do, really. It's like, ah, oh, my stuff's plus two. <clears throat> Let's see. I know what I want to set up. I need, how many dice do I need to make that real? Can these things punch? If they have jump, they can punch flying things? Yeah, I think so. Is that so. right? One, two, three. Gosh, I've got to look up what Tornhamus does again, because it's just frustrating. Toe. She flings. She hits someone and then bounces it into something. That's right. And then what's the toe thing? Is it something next to you? Within five. Pick it up, move it adjacent to her. You can disrupt my power base. You can move your units around. It's wicked. Hoist. That's what it is, Tecactus. Hoist. Yeah. Is it, so is that... I move something next to me, adjacent no, it's to even me? even better. I thought it was worse. Hoist is, is better. I thought toe was I, the better one. 
because I still sometimes brought that pterodactyl. Hoist probably isn't in here. I think it wasn't. Oh, there it is. Choose one within two spaces of this figure and place it in another space it could occupy within two spaces of this figure. Yeah, so it doesn't have to be next to you. And then toes, choose one within five and put it adjacent. So they have their different. But just disrupts everything. Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. It's just monster chess. It always has been. Sure enough. Uh, let's power up with two. Power up. Got it. So I get one here and one on the power zone. It's two. Then I'm going to move to here. Mm -hmm. And then we'll stop. Is that put out the fire? Mm hmm Very nice. Sure enough. So that'll happen no matter what. One, two. Stomp that fire out. Two, three, four. Uh, stomping. Two, so I get rid of your G1. Mm. Get Great one stomp. Back. Yeah, it was not good. <laughs> uh, and then I'll sprint. Here. You have sprint. When did you get that? Oh, when I when I got doing? temporal. So I need what is that uh, beacon ability? That's the one that's really good, right? You can move your monster on your unit turn. Mm-hmm. Anything have that on on the board here? I don't think so. Uh -uh. Mm hmm. And sprint can only trigger once. I wish I could sprint a bunch. It's a bummer. It's a bummer, man. Yeah, it's a bummer. OK. Nothing like a million. And you can't go through buildings. Mm -mm. You can't, or at least you can't. Uh, Not unless I flex down. Yeah. I like that you left an action die and two power dice in monster form. Just in case. I'm going to try to take a move here. That's good to be able to run. Mm hmm. Sometimes you got to. I could also just try to zoom, zoom you twice. The odds just aren't very good. But it would be really good for you if it works. <laughs> yeah, right? You have how much left? Three? Three mm -hmm. health left? Yep. I'm going to have to go nom nom some people. Karen says, please tell the story about how you thought MonCon was a good idea. Or save that for a future podcast someday, question mark. <laughs> it was a great idea. It was a great idea. It was one of the, some of the best weekends of my life. It wasn't fiscally a great idea, but it, it was great. Okay, well, you're gonna have the you're gonna have the same thing. So you just stomped. Okay, I, I see. So you're gonna be able to just kind of do the same thing no matter what. You got three power dice left. Six power dice left. Action dice. Action dice. Three yes. action three dice. Three action yeah. dice. Okay. Okay. So, you remember Terrence's blue stew? His blue drink. Yes. That's that he was mentioning. He was glad he made the first Moncon. Very much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the reckoning in the cup. <laughs> <laughs> he may be the reason I missed that headbutt. Isn't isn't there an ability where you slide a power an action die over the start of your turn that's really good? Yeah. Is there a building that has that? Yep. What is that building? It's the shuffle stack, right? It's shuffle. Is that what the insurance does? Yeah. That's why we always had insurance building. Yeah. Yeah. That would be sick right now. It would be really good. Okay, so I gotta do some quick math here. Yeah, because if you could move, attack, go for the shot, oh my goodness, get out of town. And if you hit me, you can hit two units within range, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 
I mean, sometimes it's just about like how much can you really do. So you'd be looking at throwing six. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take what I can get here. Uh, I'm just gonna move. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. You're no fun. Call it a day. No fun. Over to you. And then you can push units off spawn points, pay one, push, pay one spawn. But you have to spawn there if you push, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got it. That'd be great, Tech. Moncon 2.0 out at the, uh, doing a barbecue out on the East Coast. It's the only place it hasn't been, technically. Been west, East Coast. been central. I guess technically not north. Go up to Minnesota. <clears throat> All right, you're going to force me. It's not what I want to do, Steven. Mm-hmm. The old scary robot. <laughs> Annoying. It's the name of the game here. Gosh, Tornadus, how are you so good? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Tornadus. Get right out of town. You lose the power to at the start? If I stay. Would I stay or would I go now? Or I can flex down. Or I can go with my units. If you just go units, you don't have to pay it though, right? Yeah. Just the start of the mm -hmm. monster. Start thinking about what I'm going to do. And this turn, particularly where I know you can't go monster, is a critical moment to plan for and to have a good good play, which is why I'm struggling. <laughs> How much health do you have? Five? Five, yeah. It's not that many. Not that many. Not that many at all. Command it does some weird things. Command your units. Like, through, mm -hmm. use your units on the off he can, turn or something. Well, he can spend an action and move them. And then they can do their move again. So he yeah. he's how I get... I actually forgot about that, but that's how I get my guy downtown. You get the airborne yeah. downtown swing, yeah. To really go crazy on you. Um... Five. Two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna flex me. Three. What is it? What is Tornado? He shoots for like an eight. Ugh. All right, let's go down. Okay. So you're taking a monster turn, yeah? Yep. He's gonna move. Do you not? So do you not do the power phase? When do you when do you lose the power die for the quantum? model I think it's when you uh, like if I don't pay it I go down you just automatically flex yeah, yeah. it seems good one two three four five six hello and then let's just use them what's my power attack boost over there power attack boost is two okay what's your defense defense is five just enough to make you run the odds and then not roll enough dice. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. I'm going to body slam you. Okay. So I'm going to pick you up. Pick you up and put you down. <laughs> got it. So right in that building, you got it. Two damage. I gained one from the building getting destroyed and one from my insurance policy. And I basically... I remember a lot wanting to do exactly that, where it's like, I need my unit turn to be after yours, because Tornadus is a mean, meanie pants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tornadus causes problems. Problem Tornadus. Okay, so let's see. What's the best this could be? You do two, one, and then a three. 
So we could do one. And then one. And then two. And one. And then three. And then we'd have two left. It's not really enough. I feel uh, like what's your health here? Three. No, nope, four. I feel like I'm just smashing buttons in a video game right now. <laughs> Not exactly elo eloquent. <laughs> but we're doing something. Mm hmm Yeah, something's happening for sure. I I've got to I've got to hit that downtown nonsense. Isn't there something where you can't mess with the 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 earth avatars? Like they're rooted or something. <laughs> I what, don't know. Wait, look at this ability. Would you the the pyramid? I'll look it up. I think they were like super hard to get off of those points, and they mm. had an ability. I think you could pay one to drain. If I remember that right. These look great. Nesting. If it's holding a power zone, put one unit from your reserves into play adjacent to this figure. Okay, so they can pop out things next to them. That's nice. That's really good. I don't think I've ever used that. There's a reason they're in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they are not, not bad. And then Amplify, power up, gain plus one for each other. You know what they imply holding a power zone, yeah. So they get your plus one, and then they've got that countermeasures. Within two figures, cannot use actions. Nice. I remember that. That's right. So you can't, like, come in and torn on us within two. Yeah. But you can tow them off with that thing. Yep. Okay. Tow them right into a fire. One, two, three, four, five. So then we've also got fling is within five of the thing that's shooting, I think. Or is it within five of the unit being shot? That's a good question. There's some weird rules on it. Well, let's not sleep on these melee attacks either. Of the target unit. Within five of the target unit. OK. OK. So two and one. Two and one. One and one. This is with two. Not quite enough. Short range, got a six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. You going for the legendary three damage unit turn? No, I don't think so. I think your uh, I think your stuff over here is is more problematic. And did it did it pop out next to the teleporter? Like if I land here, I think does it come in and then I, I keep think my movement going? Landing here is the same thing as being in this space. Okay, yeah, yeah. Two, one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seems pretty good. I don't even need Tornadus to do that. Isn't that nuts? This is a job for anybody else. Anybody. Remember this Nautilus Blaster? Look at that thing. Yes, it looks those awesome. Nautilus Blasters were sick. I do remember that. One, two, three, four, five, Especially six. Especially with all these lights on, like the way it's glowing. One, one, one. There's the attack. Leaves us with three. We've got this thing. Oh, I remember this. Two. And then hit that. Yeah. Or just. And you're doing a, you're about to do a unit turn. That's right. OK. All right, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Tornadus coming in. G1. Tornadus so good. Coming in. Is a boost die and a action die better than spotter? I think it is. 
technically, yes. Yeah, because it could be four. Spotters are minus one, period. Um, you know what the dynamite symbol means? Nope. Don't worry I can kind about of it. take a guess. <laughs> what would make you say that? <laughs> We've got one, one, one. Well, that's a good question. So then do you... <clears throat> that's a really good question. Kind of got a downtown shot here, which is interesting. Those guys are going to move. What's the next step here? One, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, stealth is within two. Is there any spotting rules or anything? I can't remember. I don't think so. <clears throat> okay. And then we can repair. I gotta don't sleep on the repair truck now. Don't you sleep on the repair truck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The repair truck is annoying. Yeah. That's where the that's where the money is. Yeah, this makes more sense then. Okay. I think that's right. So you could do that. <clears throat> it just it's so easy to disrupt you know things. <laughs> um Let's spawn the repair truck here. Yeah, having the, your unit turn after your opponent's unit turn was a big deal. Yeah. Because of how actually easy it is. But you have the tempo because your monster gets to go first. So, little this, little that. Right. It's a clever laser line system. One, two, three, four. G1's going to move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I suppose that's fine. Not my pterodactyl. Actually, let's go. Jacob says, anyone else's ears just explode? Were we loud? Or is it something else? One, two, three. Oh, because I said it was a cleverly designed game. <laughs> That's a great game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, there's nothing, there's nothing clever to be done with that, unfortunately. I want it to be better than it is. Although, one, two, three, four. Oh, I could do that. I could go through the portal. The portal. Mm, apparently, I scraped the rules against my mic. Two, three, four. OK. And then we can go five, six, seven. Yeah, I'm going to do it there. One, two, three. Then we'll go Tornadus. One. Two, Wait. Th did you spawn from the same spawn zone? Mm -mm. Okay. This cool. one went over this way. This okay. one. one. Mm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No disruption there. Oh, we move seven anyway. What if we went one, two? Toe is two. Let's make sure we do that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do that there. So then if this misses, I've got a shot at, uh, I can just do the toe instead. That's my best best potential option. So spawn torn on us, move, spawn G1, move. And then got one floating. Let's make an attack. Okay. Tornadus, bringing two boost. G1 bringing one boost. Tornadus leading on the pterodactyl. Alright, it's a three defense. Don't whiff. Don't whiff. Whiffed. Okay. Um, next up, we get a toe to at least make it harder. Um, One, 
So we'll pull this stealth ave off and we'll roll into here. Remember dropping those things in flames? Mm hmm. Yeah, what is that? A rubble? Mm hmm. Here? What do they move? Five? Yep. Um, that's fine. And then we'll move the repair vehicle. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. And we'll repair one. Boo! Oh, I didn't take damage from the last one. Up to four. Okay. Mine? Mm hmm. Let's do my worst. I'm I, now. I am like fully. I remember. I'm, I remember I, just missing rolls. I mean, yeah, it happens. It, it just soaks the. It just soaks the. The joy right out of me. Every time. Uh, I could tell the joy was being. Uh, mm -hmm. mm. Would you like to get two power dice or zero, and remove two units? I can tell him, right? You can as tell him. As long as I'm yes. not close to him. Yeah. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. And then shoot. Shoot, shoot. Holding all the pieces. You want to listen to that new Taylor Swift album? It's a winner. <laughs> it's a winner. Okay. Yeah, Terrence, the maps were super clever. Very well done. Yeah, exactly. Three dice on a power up with, especially when it's like game ending. So aggravating. Ain't He's staying gonna there. It. He's gonna move there. Monster chess. Mm hmm. Not what you expect. When you first grab it, it's just not what you expect. Man, it'll get you deep, though. It'll hit you. Ryan Roper opened my case of Crucible of War. Didn't get any legendaries or fables like the cool kids, but got three majestic equipment, one foil. That's fantastic, Ryan. That, the majestic equipment in that set is what it's all about. That's really what you're there for. Agreed. All right, you ready? Sure. Let's go uh, Glass Cannon, Airborne Ape. Mm, glass Ape. Then we're going to go Bellower. <laughs> Actually, let's go. I haven't seen a Bellower in a while. Let's go Elite Bell Bellower. What did we run that blaster for? There's some good reason. Did it have like well, move blaster? a thing? It has minus one armor. I think it was the, it drains a power. And it drains a power. Yeah, yeah so you could screw up good. a turn there. Uh, and then we'll move. So this guy will go one, two, three, four, five. Classic. Mm hmm. Then this guy is going to move here. I remember placing the die helps so much. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'll tow one, two, three, four, five, six. here. Gain a power die. Glass is out of here. Then my Glass Airborne Ape and my Elite Bellower are each going to contribute to die. He has a boost. He has a boost. Um, one, two, three, four. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, all right. So when he moved, he moved here. Sure. That's what it was. I thought I was shooting there, but I'm actually shooting that guy. I remember those Bellowers. They got long range. Yeah. So they each, the Bellower has two boost die. He has one boost die, so it's three. They're each contributing one action die. We're targeting the G1. Okay, the two Bellowers are? Uh, no, the Bellower and the Airborne. Mm, okay. He's just hanging out. He's just hanging. Um, and then he's got Spotter, so you're minus one. Cool. Got to hit a one? Yep. 
Got a three, and he'll do the twirly thing to actually hit Tornadus as well. Okay. Does she have health? Health? I feel like she should. Yeah, she's she's like good enough that you're like <laughs> yeah. she should she shouldn't just go away. <clears throat> um, okay, and then we're in the end game now. Okay, so I can attack twice, and I've got hit and run. Okay. Terrence, rolling three dice for a power up and whiffing. So much pain. <laughs> it is the worst. Like, it's one and eight, so it's going to happen. <laughs> you're definitely, you're probably going to roll six to eight power ups a game. So there's probably one that misses. And inevitably, it's, it's the ones we remember at least are the ones where you really needed that power up to hit. Sometimes you're powering up and it's like, yeah, some power dice is fine right now, but it's not critical to my plan. Mm -hmm. And then there's inevitably one or two turns a game where it's like, I have to hit my power up right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've got a lot of uh, you've got a lot of uh, dice over there. So yeah, I'm I'm set to up boot, boot scoot and boogie here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Your ability to run is unprecedented. It's so good. Yeah, she's great at it. Okay, let's start here. I'm gonna have to hunt you down. I could take a shot. What's your health? Four? Four health. So we could take a shot at you here and, and start, begin the running. Take a shot at you there. Begin the running. <laughs> Let the running begin. Yeah, that stock exchange is money. No, I've got to hit, I've got to hit to run. It's yep. hit and run. It's it a classic ability. Yeah. <laughs> you miss, you don't run. <laughs> I'm really glad we did this. This is this is great yeah, to, I mean, to re what a, remember. What a re-engagement this is. It's amazing. Again, it's just, it's so weird. We've been doing a lot of throwbacks, and so usually we're strictly learning a game and haven't played it before. So we're getting to analyze it, you know, a game from '97 in modern terms. But playing a game you played this much uh, is <laughs> hard to explain. You're just hitting hitting like memory centers all the time. Yeah, it's doing a lot. All right, let's do a move. All right. I'm going to get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six. She is six or seven? Six. Six. OK. Then we're going to step. I really don't appreciate gonna step. what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, now we need to determine. So we're going to shoot that airborne ape. You don't want to do that. Three. Whiff. Give me a whiff return. I got two boost on that thing. Yep. You have hit and run. Mm hmm. And you, what's the lightning do? I can attack twice. Nice. I really need to be gaining power dice here, which is the problem. So I can I can risk this one I think. So one two three. There there's a good shot at that one hitting three. Let's try. It. Okay. Got it. Got it. He's broken like okay. glass. Gain one power die. And CZ Cat says Whiffertons is my guinea pig's name. Mm -hmm. I'll go one two three. Mm-hmm. I think that's right. Anyway, I can't shoot anything that I'm next to. That's right. That's how this game works, right? So one, two, three. Okay. Make sure I was here, right? I think that's right. So one, two, three. Okay. Now we'll hit the other one. Try to hit that bellower. Those yep. are yeah. And did you gain a power die from that? I did, yeah. Bellower, all, all your stuff, three. Uh, yep. Three Is this Bellower? Or, or, yeah, probably this one. Yeah. Try to shut me down. Not a good roll. <laughs> Try that one. <laughs> I 
Got him. Okay. He's been bellowed. Gain one. Those little bellowers are hilarious. One, two, three. And then we'll sprint. One, two, three. Nice play. Thanks. I was really curious how you, what you were doing way over downtown. Mm-hmm. All right. The old downtown. Leroy Brown. Leroy Brown, that's right. Classic maneuver, really. <laughs> interesting, interesting. So now I got some choices to make. Mm-hmm. I think... There's too many flames. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Hmm. I love that anesthesia cat. I know that you said that, Zach. That's hilarious. Wiffertons is a great cat name. I agree. Good guinea pig name. Anything that's uh, Wiffertons is that's actually really funny. I love that as a name, an animal name. <laughs> hmm. Just gonna keep running. <laughs> I remember this game. <laughs> ah, range. So range. good. I wish it, can you imagine if I had long range off that radar? Or if you were just Sky Sentinel. Having say well yeah, that's Sky Sentinel it. was long range and your G ones get extra boost dice yeah. for no reason. That that's actually what I remember. The G ones I was like, these are comparable to what I would remember. And it's like, They're oh, only ridiculous yeah. for Sky Sentinel. So like one of them could hit your monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, especially if you had like a spotter. <laughs> It's like yeah, uh, yeah, one die, two of them definitely, because it's two action dice, six boost dice. Devastating. And then, like, if you have spotter, normally they're down to four or five defense. And the game eventually got where everything had to have a movement ability to have any chance of being played. Yeah. It's like you have burrow, jump, fly. It's like, okay, we get it. What up, Zach? Uh, late to the party. Is this a card game? That's a very funny comment. Thank you for that. Uh, it's an inside joke on the stream. Uh, but it is not. No, this is the original Monpoc 1.0, 2008. Mm hmm. 2008. Oh my gosh, this was 12 years ago. I'm dying. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> we all are, actually. <clears throat> Tag, did you say that the, the G1s have been nerfed? Nerfed into oblivion? Do you guys use your do you use your 1.0 models? Can you use your 1.0 models on the 2.0? All right. No. My, uh, we, probably not. Uh, power up. <laughs> no, power probably up. Not. Uh, we'll do some stepping. One step. <laughs> One step this time. Did you pay a power die for that step? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's a it's an aggressive step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he has super rampage. I get double the power dice from a rampage. Hmm. So nice. We're gonna rampage. He gets the uh, just going through the units. Four. Yeah. What's their defense? Three. Three and two. One. Yeah. Two. Spent. Two. One. Two. Three. Four. That's overkill. All right. We're gonna rampage. Okay. <laughs> two, wow, three, four. Got him. Seven. Uh, so he actually has a nine speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I gain four power dice back from that. Nice. And then I'll sprint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Let's see. Build the power base back up, probably. Remember that? Remember those words? I do remember those words. Build the power base. <clears throat> That's a monument, right? Yeah. What is the money sign? Uh, action money sign. Can you help Financier? me? Financier? I think yeah, you get a power sounds, die. That sounds right. Financier, yeah. Business center, your opponent loses a power die. Very nice. <clears throat> see you, Tick Cactus. Tick Cactus. Good to see you. Okay, and then we want to go. 
Can you swat the friendly unit? Two. No. I don't think you can. Oh, no. Let's look up these SWAT rules. <laughs> and Way I can hit, I've, I've got army. jump, so what? what is this? Oh, give me this Earth Kami ability. Is this fling? Do they have fling on their melee attack? Uh-huh. Oh, cool. That's the point. And they can hit, wait, they can't hit flying things. Mm-mm. Huh. They can't reach up and punch. I remember hating that so much. Oh, my. Oh, my, my. Wasn't there a unit that gave them the ability to You can definitely that? swat your own units, by the way. Oh, nice. Was there not an ability that let you... I yeah. think I think you had to put the air commie next to them. Yeah, that's what it was. It, it was the air commie. Let them fly through the air. That's right. That's right. Hilarious. Yeah. Just funny stuff. It's really good form, really. Boy, this earth commie doing nothing. Good. Three, four, five... Late. Okay, we definitely want this to happen. So that's going to go there. We definitely want this. This and this. You, can, you, can you flex down after you attack? I think at the end of the turn you can. Yeah, I think at the very end. Man, yeah, I've got a, I've got a great question, you know? It's just like... One, two, three... It's just a beautiful, uh, two, three, beautiful question mark, really. Jordan says, never seen this game before. What a fun board. Yeah, yeah it's a, it's a great it looking. Uh, it's pretty crazy, too, because it's pretty assembled and pretty painted. Mm -hmm. And it came out in 08, so like, this was revolutionary. OK, so this is going to go here. And then. This is going to go here. And this is going to go here. And then this is going to happen. Boy, that's an interesting decision. OK, let's do it. Let's do it the way we know how. Two, man, laying out the dice really gets me back in the spirit. Yeah, that's, that's it clicked <laughs> for me when we were laying it out. Two, we used to be so natural, just like, I could plan this turn out in three seconds. Yeah. We those lost it. Those days are over. <laughs> yep. I'm not as good as I once was. Yeah. All right, so this G1's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a million different All of those G1s. Ways. Tornadus is going to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Didn't work. Let's see if I can get there the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, three, four, five, six. And then Earth Avatar doing what Earth Avatar does. Tornadus and G1 onto the pterodactyl. Age of three. Been here before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got him. Ah. Fling into the airborne ape. Does is there a roll? You have to roll it. Yeah. Got him. Thousand different ways. Gain two power die for that. Pass the turn to you. All right. I'm going to take a unit turn. I'm going to shuffle an action die over. This is highfalutin technology Ooh. here. Uh, you don't have shuffle, yeah? Oh, you're right. I'm not going to do that. Hmm. We have the technology. <laughs> Terrence, I don't remember that. The match was all but decided by the map selection. Someone had broken the game on a ruling. Do you remember that at all? Hmm. Some kind of a ruling on a map. It know, sounds roughly familiar. I know, like it? Sky Sentinel out on the boardwalk was insane. Sky I know Sentinel boardwalk was almost there were, unstoppable. There were a couple of those where it was like it was more for that big horizontal. The Cthulhu thing on the like sideways map, mm -hmm. like where the buildings going this way, was a problem for whatever reason. Oh man, it was. The there was a vassal final or something that I 
I remember was that. What were those morpher things, the four elves? The four units that become one monster? Morphers. Morphers? Yeah, it was morphers, yeah. Yeah, those were awesome and also the worst. Jordan, yes, this is very much like Rampage for N64. Any of the Rampage stuff, it's very much in that pocket. Hmm. Does my monster being there cancel your power up on that building? I don't have three. If, in if you had three, I think so. I think it does, doesn't it? How many power dice are you gonna get from there? Uh, two from the building, and your power. Up? Two from the Earth Avatar. So four. four. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch out for those eight eight space throws. Mm-hmm. Assuming you hit the power up, but I'm I have a feeling this is the one that's it's done. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. Oh yeah, Terrence, remember that a building that couldn't be destroyed and you could stand behind it or something. Yeah. It was indestructible. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm with you. In '64, yeah, I played Rampage Grizzly on the Nintendo Entertainment Center. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon. Yeah, you did good here. You did good. You did real good. All right. Uh, I think this is what I have to do. Let's go with Kondo. He's going to move. You got to pay a power, power yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, Move. I'm going to swap my own unit. Swat on. And you're in monster form here? Mm-hmm. It's like I'm in alpha form, you mean, or whatever. Where you're gonna, you have all mm -hmm. monsters. They're all over there, yeah. What's your health or your defense? Five. Defense is five. Two, three. I can't sustain this. <laughs> I can't sustain it. Okay. Let's go. Swatting? Swat on. Got it. You hit your unit. And then I'm going to hit you. There's always like the hope. <laughs> it's like, oh, maybe I'll miss this. The big one. Got it. Two damage. Take two. And then I will sprint. I mean, how bad is that stadium? Just one damage right here. One, two, three. So one, two, three. No, that's the right spot. So. Um, and then I'll leave those two over there. Uh, and then I'm going to flex down. OK. How much does he have? Uh, four. He's got four left. All right, let's try to power up here. Two for the PowerPoint, one mm -hmm. for Monument, one for the building. You got it. Four on. Four on, more like moron. <laughs> this is not good. Now I've got decisions to make here. So many decisions, really. So what, you could go up to Big old condo mode, right? Uh, I mean, mainly what I did is I I'm, I can threaten the. You can. I probably wouldn't, but I could threaten a four, four space throw. Mm -hmm. So that if you come out to play, I can at least fire back. There's also those weird ones where like, you just run over and like move them, and then if they don't do anything, you know, it's like yeah. ah. Well, it's like if you pick me up and put me here. Mm -hmm. Then if I don't do anything, you can then toss me into this thing. Right, right, right. Yeah, or even better, if you put me here, then you could toss me over into this thing. What is this? Uh, what is this double shot thing? Uh, is it can, within range? You can hit two units. Two units, like within short range, probably. I'm late to the party with you. 
Maldic shot. Choose two of their immunities in the blast attack range of this figure. Those are the defense equal to or less than the number of strikes. That's one roll. Yeah. Interesting. Clear my units. That you can see. <laughs> also, look at the, this fist of her. It's just like a little nub. That's so funny, actually. That's good stuff. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a that's a question, isn't it? Okay, or I could play, keep playing the game that Nova really wants to play, which I I think is right. Hit and run. Mm-hmm. We we call it hit and run. <laughs> Okay, and then she's got the sprint too, so it seems good. Read annoying. <laughs> so if I move, it's payback for all those years of me playing Sky Sentinel. I guess yeah, you're playing 100%. Eaters. One, two, three, four, five, six. There was a big. I'm just gonna put this here to mark it. Yeah. There was a big, always a big question of whether Nova was better than Sky Sentinel. The answer was no. I was a lot of people like me okay. tried to probably make the case that it, it was. Okay, shoot, move, shoot, and then uh, call it a day. Nothing fancy here. Or shoot. Just that short range, man. If I had long range, oh my gosh. Yeah. How busted is this if I have long range? Okay, l let's do that. Let's do Nova in the best the best way that I can. So spin one to move. Mm -hmm. And up here. So then we'll go, and I've got to shoot, hit and run. I get to, I have to pay twice though, don't I? Or with the double attack. This is true, Terrence said yes, but you did make Legionnaire relevant, Steven. You remember Legionnaire? Oh, I did, yeah, he was busted. I played him poorly in Cali against Chris, I remember. I was so ashamed. <laughs> The second attack of the same type with dice and play. Oh, it's dice and play against the same target. Oh my gosh, that's so much better. I don't have to spin the dice again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. So if I do. Did I pay for that move? Any idea? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because you powered up and moved. Powered up and moved. There they are. Okay, so if I throw one, two, three, you're a five defense. Yep. A lowly five. And then save one. Okay. So four should hit, right? Not, yes. even a, not even a question. So you should expect four, five, mm -hmm. six and a half. That's basically seven is your thing. So you could be down two. And like that puts your odds in like probably 95, 96%. Mm -hmm. Still three or 4% chance you miss. That's right. Uh, what about that? Now you're in the like 80s. <laughs> I hate the 80s. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> For every reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nova's going to take a shot here. Not gonna miss my hit. Hey, that's, see, that's it's barely, close. barely that's there. That's five right there. That is yeah. so aggravating. So I'll take it. Uh, no hit and run on that one. That's. I think it's deceptive. Like I remember back in the day, hit that uh, one hard. People would be so upset when they would miss, but it's like, dude. I mean, when you're at eighty percent, like it's still one in five is gonna miss. That's that's a lot. That's insane. Okay, and then I think we're gonna sprint to safety. I like that. So then if you don't do anything, I can potentially come out and do two again and power you down. And get me. Or power you up, rather. All right. Mine? But otherwise, I'm fine. Yep. Man, Mega Legionnaire was so, so good. Oh my gosh, can you believe that model? I forget what it was, it was like seven range, hit and run, two damage or something. It was just like. Ridiculous. 
I don't understand how you print that on a on a on a thing. You only have two health left here. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right. Power me up. How many on the quantum? You got three left? Yeah. A little light disruption. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's better than that. Over here where you can't see me, but I'm a stealth eight. Can't see me. Man, this brings back the mims. Hooey. All about making those pockets. Yeah, I'm trying to not give you a pocket. <laughs> no pockets. I remember I'd do an entire turn and they'd be like, ah, a pocket. Mm -hmm. It's like he's going to jump right into that and I can't get to him. It's aggravating. Hmm, this is better. This is better. <laughs> Just got to stare at it enough. You'll yeah. get there. All right, let's back it up. This pterodactyl. That's right. Well, it's like basketball. You miss every shot you don't take, and two thirds of the shots you do. What more needs to be said? You got the old Earth Avatar dumping ground over there. Where? <laughs> Just like all these fire spots. Oh yeah. No, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. It's so. I remember that so much. I made the bat. Yeah, you're good. <clears throat> Uh, it's crazy. The position of that unit earlier is just so wrong. Like it creating that pocket, it's amazing when you start seeing it. I just don't care about that. Is it a four? Keep getting better, huh? Mm-hmm. I forgot I have this command where I can ah, yes. move something for free. Not that it matters. Get, get that ape on the walkie-talkie already. The problem is, Steven, mm -hmm. this pocket. I don't want you to be able to get there. Yeah, I, I want to live in that space oh, at the I, end of the game. I know you want to <laughs> live in that space at the end of the game. I want to live all here. <laughs> It's pocket territory. Got pockets everywhere. Yeah, right there in the pocket. You also on one of my spawn zones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's annoying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> squish. Squish, squish, squish. I definitely am using that pterodactyl to toss that avatar in the grinder. I think we both can agree that that's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guarantee yeah, yeah. Sure, the sure clear is. and power die. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious, Terrence. Well, Stephen knows which figures you moved. Uh, Chat will keep keep us honest, always. No, that's irrelevant. You gotta have beacon in a list. Mm -hmm. There was a unit that had it, right? 
I think there was a unit was that it? had beacon. That's crazy. Yeah, I think so. there was a unit that had it. Was there a unit that had beacon? There was. I swear to you, there was. It was in every list. Was it a glass unit, maybe? Or a shadow? I don't know. It was like a mecha. It was like the mecha people. That was the weirdest faction, the mm. mecha. You remember those? Uh, mecha Corp or Now Corp? Yeah. They're strange. The Uber Corp? Uber Corp. I think they had Beacon on a unit. Brontox, Robo Brontox. Robo Brontox. Wrote a blog about it. Don't you remember Robo Brontox? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Robo Brontox, man. He's the worst. <laughs> Robo Brontox. Robo Brontox, that's what I'm saying. At any point, you pay three because it's out of faction and you, to you move your yeah, monster. It's yeah. the worst. It's the worst. Necessary. Necessary for the most degenerate of metagames. I bet there's still a blog on our site that's called Robo Brontox. Just awful. All those blogs are still around. Back in the archive. This is a pickle. I'm in a tight spot. But it just looks like two monsters punching each other. I don't know what you mean. It's not. It's so much more. <laughs> it's not. It's not. <laughs> These little streets. Dude, everything was lovingly placed. In fact, there was there was a few that right before print, I did a scan again and I was like, oh no. There are some squares that are overlapping the wrong way. And then I fixed them. Well, that's a good catch. Yeah, it was nice. All these assets look great. And we had little waters. We could build whatever we wanted. My gosh. Robert and I did these on um, a Google Spreadsheet. I remember. Were they yeah. color codes? Yeah, with color color coded. I got to get my units out of the way. Your own way? I can't, I can't have them screwing me up, yeah. Hmm. Is your monster next to my building? Is that contestant? Yeah. Are we certain? Yeah. Are we certain? certain? Yeah, because you put apes all over my stuff all the time, and it was very aggravating. Mm. I'll, I'll double check, though. Probably under, like, contesting or something. Mm, it's not there. Buildings. David Vangel says, you guys are game playing machines. Do you ever find yourself playing games on your free time? Maybe we play some Flesh and Blood just this, was it after this week? After stream, yeah. Or was it last week? It was last week. It was last week after yeah. stream? It was last Thursday. It was the day before the release. Of the new yeah, we, is, what's funny is like what took us one game on stream, we busted like three in a row in like an hour. Easily. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, David. I haven't heard from you in a little while. I hope you're doing okay. I do uh, occasionally play, especially uh, like had a weekend of Sky Tear with him a few months back. I find myself deck building a lot when we're not streaming. Yeah, I would love, I would love to. Honestly, it's fun because we get to have the fun with people on stream, but then it also makes me really just appreciate the times when you're just kind of able to unplug and play without yeah. people watching. Mm -hmm. I agree. Better. Our l reputation on the line, you know, every stream, because we got to be perfect at games, you know? <laughs> All the time. We never make mistakes. Yeah, no. That's the key, you know? No, it's like no. Rodney. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know if, I, uh, maybe there's some people here that don't watch our streams very often. That's, that's obviously a joke, right? <laughs> I didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> got him, <laughs> low key. That's got one of those him. jokes you don't laugh at, you know. And it's easy, cat says. Yes, that's what you're famous for. <laughs> yeah, right. Never making mistakes, especially during Arkham. It's absolutely flawless gameplay. I love. I occasionally pop over. I'm spawning a terror tactics, by the way. Okay. I occasionally um, pop over to the uh, champions Discord, and uh, there's this underground rumor that we don't play by the rules, and I'm just like, where up champions? Whatever. Yeah. 
Uh, we, I, I mean, we back stuff up from time I see to time. It. I, I see a lot. That. I, I get it. That. I was just like, oh, I didn't know we were so egregious about it. Yeah, well, you I also move, call that where they have, they have fun and stuff. One, <laughs> two, three. It's a cooperative game. What do, you, what do you want? Have fun with it. I, I can't find a single thing about contesting anything, honestly. We'll see. Okay, wait, here we go. Uh huh. View Game Plus C Securing Buildings, page 21. Okay, here we go. Page 8 tells you to go to page 9. Yeah, we're on, the, page on the chase here. Um. Securing buildings, yeah. I'm excited that sees a cat. It literally, it doesn't tell you anything about it. Jump saying, Zach, please tell me if PDP is paving the way for a future for Destiny. I know <laughs> that has to be part of why you started it. <laughs> I mean, sure, I would love to do it, but I don't think it's going to happen. FFG doesn't seem like the kind of publisher that's, they seem a little too big for that system, but our door's open, our phones are on, email's available. The publisher has to be willing to do it, is the thing. Like, it's, it's them saying, we want to bring this back, and this is the best way to do it. Although that, that system, I would apply that system, if it wasn't a, just a nightmare, apparently, to make those dice. But, you know, Mompok made dice. Ashes makes dice. There's, there's yeah. ways to do it. It's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something else anyway. OK. It's funny because I just literally, there's nothing. I'm going to tow this guy into the flame with me. That's a long five, but it's there, yeah. <laughs> but it's there. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to move this bellower one, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to command one, two, three, four, five. Didn't that stadium do something? Oh, you got the energy drain on the melee. I remember that one. I had a more I had a melee list, of course, because I like bad things. Bellower is gonna shoot the G one. That's it. Good luck. Is there cover in this game? Three. I don't know. I know this these trees are cost extra movement to go through, but I don't I don't think there's cover. Maybe there is. <laughs> David Whitfield, morning guys. Scurrilous rumors that you don't play perfectly by the rules. <laughs> We're just here to watch and be odd. <laughs> We used to care a lot about that stuff. Yep. We really did. What's scurrilous mean? Ah, uh, you know, like uh, un unbecoming. Mm. Uh, you know, filled with intrigue. Intrigue. <laughs> intrigue. <laughs> okay, so I want to get in a different sequence than I'm currently in. <laughs> You don't want to take a unit turn, but you don't want to take a monster turn. I so well, I want to, yeah, I want to, I want to do it all. I'll be right back. Okay. So let's think about how to do it. All right, friends. I think I've got the goods here. So if I move Tornadus. If I spawn and move a G1, and if I spawn and move something, I can secure. And then if I spawn and move <clears throat> Wasn't there cover? What's up, Lafas? Imperial Assault, you said? You, you ordered an Imperial Assault today? That's a good one. Hmm. Don't like that one bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. This is very reasonable, actually. Very reasonable. So Tornado's gonna get in the in the party here. <clears throat> Within five, I think, on the fling, if I'm not mistaken. So Tornanus goes one, two, three, four, five, six. It's Tornanus. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go one. Spawn here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did you move my stuff around? Yeah, I'm just moving it. Taking a unit turn? Yep. I think that's right. The dance. The dance. Yeah. <clears throat> How much do I have on my other my other form? Yeah. Because then we're we're in the goods there. Okay, so that that's that's a fair that's a fair thing there. And then we do that, and then we've got two. Now we've got two left. So we can do something interesting, right? We can do something interesting. Probably go there and there. Nothing weird. I've got sprint, so don't sleep on sprint. Don't you dare sleep on sprint. I'm not doing it. I'm not sleeping on sprint. Mmm. <laughs> Don't you sleep on it, man. I'm telling you. One, it's been quite a dance, actually. One, two, three, I, four, five. I feel like if I am I have this side game going in my head, the sequencing that we're doing, it's really fun. Yeah, it's good stuff. What's the best use of these two dice? I just throw them away. One, two. Also, look at the one, shape two, of this old logo. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's got some problems. Yeah, it's got some problems. It's got flavor though. It's got a little flavor. Yeah, it's got a little flavor. You can always tow. Don't forget about tow. Tow in the water. <laughs> Don't forget about tow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I really got to get you off that insurance building. Really, that's the that's the key here. Off this position. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to happen. Okay. Um, I think I've I think I've got what I need. Oh, baby, you. You got what I need. When you say he's just. See, but you don't power up for one power die. That's just not the world you live in. So if you're not gonna do that, one, two, three, four, five. If you're not gonna do that, then why even waste your time thinking that it that it matters? Jordan Hightower says in the recommended videos below the comments, there's a video of Steven unboxing a Voltron box for this game from nine years ago. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's about right. Yeah, we go way back. As old as some of these games. All right, so I'm going to start spawning to get these out of the way. One on your, your favorite and mine. The G1. The G1. Like a G1. One on, where's my other repair truck? Is it still on the board somewhere? Oh, there it is. OK, they're the same. One on a repair. Those are repair trucks. Boy, yeah, right. What a good mechanic that was. Good idea, jeans there. <clears throat> I have an idea. Infinite healing. <laughs> Infinite cosmic healing. You know, you can also flex on the on the the two. I don't want to sleep on that. And can sprint sprint actions can happen after the yeah. after the thing. Oh my gosh, that is so good. 
Ugh. Okay. Jordan says, you looked a lot more flesh back then. You must have better lighting now. Yeah. Better yeah. lighting, better cameras, better coloring technology. I think this goes back. Et cetera. Even if you go back to the videos, uh, I was preparing some stuff for Walt, the week we're taking off after today. And uh, you go back to the beginning of the pandemic streams, you'll notice some differences. So one is spawned there, and that's all that I've spent. Mm hmm You got it, man. Doesn't this bring back memories? So one there. <laughs> one there for the attack. One there, one there for the attack. We could do a toe or a slammer jammer. We could also do a sprint. And then we could do an extra on the attack. I think I'm going to do that because this attack is really important. <laughs> Anesthesia Cat says, dropping some biz marquee out of nowhere. That's right. G1's going to move one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, then we're going to do, Tornadus is going to move here. Contesting. As you might expect. Uh, then we're going to see how we want to do this. Doesn't Spikers are something weird? He's a hazard. Yep. Mm hmm. I was just planting some damage. Yeah. It's a good plant. We'll go ahead and and do this first. So we're going to swing with three dice. Uh -huh. These are still sitting here. Three dice. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Onto the pterodactyl. Uh -huh. Three defense. Three and three. Oh, boy. With Tornadus leading, of course. Kachunk. Hits. Where is it going? And then it's going into uh, Mr. Bellow. Mr. Bellow. We'll throw it into that, uh, into the Bellow, that's fine. Three defense again. Do I roll again? Yeah, you roll again. Roll three. Again. There's nowhere else he can go, right? One, two, three, four, five. No. Got him. Whoosh. Two die coming my way. I've got two dice remaining. So I'm going to pay one to hoist this guy. No! Here. Mm -hmm. Just keep creating some pockets here. And then... Tornadus is going to sprint. Or I could, you know, I could sprint this guy and go nowhere. He's done nothing the entire game. One, two, three. Done. All right. Isn't this interesting? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? I think I got the beats. You're about to have a lot of turns in a row if you want it. You don't have any power-ups, though. No power-ups. So you're get, hanging where you're hanging. Get my power the hard way. Uh, David Whitfield, good question here. Um, does Return to Red Skull campaign rules include a way of playing the original three villains campaign? I We have no idea. I haven't seen the release, personally. But I imagine that based on how they build it, people will build custom campaigns for the first three. I'm just going to guess. To the compendium. To the compendium. Start stepping, Kong. Right. Let's 
start swatting. It's it's the swats for sure. I have to hyper up. Hyper up. I have to swat. Hyper up. But then I gotta be able to go one, two, three, not far enough. One, two, three, not good. So I've swat my own unit. That's fun. Who needs insurance when you can swat your own stuff? That's right. I mean, he's a he's a just ruler. <laughs> one, two, three. That's not so bad. Gotta basically use my shell. I gotta take a little risk here. All right, power up. It's only two. It's crazy. And if you're over five, you get the the bonus. Yeah. Okay. Five or more. So you want to roll? Do you want to power up? No. To get power. Uh, I may as I may as well. Um, One big power. Could could it'll be important. With. <laughs> I'm, I'm planning on using all my dice anyway, so it's fine. Cool. Uh, move. That's why I realized <laughs> I should do it. Uh, we're going to go here. One, two, three, four, five. And then I go one, two. Back downtown. Uh, yeah, we'll swap my command eight. And I can roll up to seven. Save one. Use all my power dice. Here we go. Uh, we're going to swat. Technically, I need to hit a what? Five? Mm hmm So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got two damage on this puppy? Yep. Mm-hmm. Got my unit. <laughs> got him. Swatting into old Nova. Got me. Got it. Two. You can get a power die. I'm powered down. Power down. Power down. And then I will sprint. Mm. One, two, three. And then I will. Mm -hmm. Use my meat shield. Rolling downtown, he says. Yep. Okie dokie. Okie powder. Well, you gotta take a unit turn, yeah? Mm hmm. So you've gotta do one damage to me with your units the way that I reckon it. Or I've gotta be able to hit you for three with a condo when it's his turn. Yes. Them's the beats. These are true stories. It's been a good little game. It is a good game, yeah. It's been a great game. Especially with us both just flapping around in the first couple turns, not knowing what we're doing. <laughs> and our building placement, it's like, now in retrospect, it's crazy. And like, even the reality of how important this position is. Mm -hmm. It's one unit touching three buildings, and you can put another one here, so it's touching both of those. It's crazy. multi -track, I think it gets around stealth, if I remember that correctly. I think so. Does that, rem does that sound right? It says within attack range. It's not targeting within attack. I think is the. Let's. Uh, what up, Marcus? Yeah, that's Marcus. Out we on here? He is. What's up, Marcus? Yeah. That's right. Okay. I wish I'd annihilate. That'd be nice. With two damage. Mm-hmm. Two da two damage don't come free. <laughs> you seem to be making pretty good use out of it there. Yeah, it's crazy how good actually. Just being able to do two damage on an attack is. Mm -hmm. You got those killer swats. <laughs> That's what I always hear in the gyms. Yeah, those killer swats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> killer squats. All right, well, let's start with the move. What do I got, seven over there? You're a high flying seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get here. Mm. All right, now we got to make some decisions here. I see. Yeah. <clears throat> You're only a five, right? Yep. Because seven is really the number that's important. 
It's not that important, but it's important. Seven what? Seven range. Because the other thing I can do here is just not, not be in a hurry, you know? Not be in a hurry. I don't have hit and run anymore, but I do have sprint. Sprint's good. Sprint's are really good. Sprint's how you like bounce back into this little bubble like a jerk. <laughs> I don't want to fight. I just want to shoot. I I would I really wish that uh, apes had been out in the first cycle when you were on planet eaters because mm -hmm. I feel like if we'd had planet eater ape fights it would have been. We never really by the time the apes came out the planet eaters were obviously not good. Yes. It's a, a sad but true kind of situation there. <clears throat> okay, and let's not sleep on the fact, oh, I just remembered that red hoist. That's a thing that's important. Yeah, red command's the same. I almost did that to come here and move a unit. You remember the things that were good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take a shot. Not going to miss my shot. One, two, three. We're going to go there. I think, yeah, I think we're going to, uh, so let me see how this would actually divide out. So this would be the. You can basically make two attacks. Could make three. This what? is just a double damage attack. Don't have the, the double attack on this mm, one. What's the sword on the uh, ranged attack there? It's double damage. Straight, oh. straight up. So you just shoot for two, but then you mm -hmm. can pop two of my units. Yes. That seems good. This is where things get hard, because basically I can sequence out to try to get three attacks against you. This round? No, not not this round. Like but basically, three turns like, in a row? I, I take you to quantum, you do a unit turn, I do two to you, you take a monster turn. If you can't do three, or if your units haven't done one, I can take my last shot. Or you can run, potentially. But really, what are we looking at in terms of odds? What's my, my shooting as a three? All right, so one, two. That's basically two. Three, four, five. You have a, that's not a great odds. Yeah, you're like upper 70s, maybe. 80. It's an ugly roll. But throw that in there, then I'll get three back. Now you're in the upper 80s. And then I have three shots at the same. I have, I have upper 80 shots. I'm going to take that. I think that's what I've come to do. Well, if it ever fails, are you shooting me? Yeah. OK. <laughs> are, are, um, well, you know I can't go monster yet. Yes, I do so know that. So that's fine. Yeah. I can, I can be so weird. Now the other thing I could do, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is like also the Mondo, the Mondo hit. So I, you know, I've got 6 right now. I could gain 3. So I could put you in 9, but 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, just one shy of the, of the money. Well, the thing, too, is, like, you have to get through the two first. Yeah, that, that's happening. Yeah. But if I get through the two without using any power die and also get next to you, then I'm set up for a nine. And I can do that. <clears throat> I'd have to really try to power drain you somehow. Mm-hmm. There may be stuff on the board, though. Like, you could secure the stock exchange, probably, and then spend yep. an action to do it. I also yeah. have Bellowers that can drain you for one. Mm-hmm. I believe that's what that is. It's a surprisingly nuanced little game. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's not overly complex. These these things, once you learn your icons, it's it's way better. That's probably the most burdensome part of this game. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Bellowers can move an A die from a target's. Mm. So watch out for that. that? But on the sh if they shoot you. They can move an action oh, die right from on. that pool to if the they other. Hit you. Um, and then I think the logistics thing, here's a little light bulb. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's plus one boost die to anything. I think two. that's right. Like to your whole squad or something, isn't it? Uh, if one or more agenda figures within two spaces of the figure participates in a combined attack, they gets plus one boost die. I remember that. It's crazy remembering this stuff. And this is the thing with the energy drain. The Nautilus Blaster. My team, my friends, the Tritons. <laughs> Tritons? Is that what they called? Yeah, that was them. Yeah. Now the other, so there's another, there's a, there's a safe option here too. So we get you down, and then we shoot, and move, and then you've got to find a way. But that, that's interesting math, because I'm at three. Ooh, I need to be just a little bit beefier. <laughs> I think taking these three shots is probably my best bet. I like how many choices you have right mm -hmm. here. This it's is good, this is it? good cognitive load. It's really good. One, two, three, four, five, six. This game also does a really good job of making the sequencing matters, but like my units don't do that much on my monster turn and vice versa. There's only so much information I have to actually be processing right now. Yeah. But what really matters is the macro, like how many action dice are in which pool. Like, a lot. All right, I'm going to take this shot. I'm not going to miss my shot. Shooting? Shooting. Shooter McGavin? And you need five. Yeah. You should hit five. I should absolutely hit five here. If not, it was a good stream. <laughs> it was a... <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good deal. All right. Let's roll it out here. I think you got it. Hit it a thousand times. Okay. So you do two damage? Multi-shot those two stealth babes. I'm going to gain three back, form, and two units. Just go over. And then... Thanks for playing, Kondo. Six. There's really no way. One, two, three. I mean, I can really commit to this play is basically what I'm looking at. Oh, I think I am. I think I'm gonna commit, man. You think your units can do one? This is the, the devastating part of the game. Um, I mean, I'm banking on it. That was the sequencing I chose when I mm -hmm. used all my dice. So you're gonna come, I mean, you're not gonna have a lot in the way of power dice if you focus on my monster this turn. Okay. So then I'm going to sprint. Go one, two. There. And I think that's correct. Yeah, that's good for me. Okay. Mine? Mm-hmm. Now we got to do the math. So interesting. Because even if there's a world where I do that, but I'm here, and I go like one, two, and then I take a unit turn next, if you don't do one, I think I can do one to you with units, put you at two, and block myself in. And then. It's a problem. You're hosed, right? I'd probably run and heal. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Back, punch, yeah, 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 I punch, remember punch. doing that, yeah. Yeah, because there's still five or six health on the board for me if I want to mm -hmm. go get it. Well, two can play that game. <laughs> I get that repair vehicle just pulls right up, man. <laughs> Skirting. That's why this game was so tough for time limits. Because you really just have to dance mm -hmm. around for a long time.
Rise of Red Skull is tomorrow, isn't it? Yep. Not a big deal. Sure enough. Oh boy. Man, Red Hoist was so good. I remember I remember moving a unit out of the way and then just slamming for like eight. Ah, there were there were some tricks, man. You could really they baked enough in where you could really be good at this. And it was it was so satisfying. <laughs> Yep. But it was just so often, did your opponent see the red hoist play? Or the Robo Brontox play? Or, or, or. That's it. That's Dude, it. Megan has got seven defense and nine move. She may have been the one. What's this? I'm going to look at what these abilities are. She's got a weird little ability here. Fission. Can push two eight eye from your unit pool to your monster pool. I love that. So basically you gain one. And she's got energy cycle. If you two or more eight eye you can return one to the active pool, yeah. And then she had the big explosion thing. Didn't that just like destroy buildings? Overload. Ah, if you have more than five PDI, it does super damage. That's right. So she also hits for two. Has energy cycle and fission. So she's the one that takes a bunch of back to backs. They're called back to backs. Back to back. It's just like that. Boom. Brain says yes. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. You'll need it. Anyone play Smash TV back there? Nintendo? Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> Never give up. Trust your instincts. Yeah, Marcus, what do you think of 2.0? What do you think of the, the newest Monster Apocalypse? Sounds like they fixed some balance issues from what people were saying earlier. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, sometimes. Oh, you got that Nautilus blaster on the board. Hello. Now I know we're getting into Jenksville. Yeah. Send my regards to Mr. Philip Rowland. And you're now can't jump. That's pretty interesting. I probably should have just like made this world as annoying as possible. I could just block you in with units. I forgot. Like, well, I still have the double damage swat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I if I rampage out, I get double power dice of whatever I run over. So it just means you, I can, you can be annoying. I can you from getting to me forever. Yeah, that makes sense, Marcus. Uh, Jordan, it probably was. It's up there somewhere. Star Fox quote. Was it the never give up, trust your instincts? Did I say that? Did I say that? Never give up, trust your instincts? Yeah. I think that's Star Fox, yeah. Marcus, do you do um, do you do painting? Have you done the hobby hobby miniatures thing? Be curious. That's kind of what I immediately was like, ah, hobby. Oh my goodness, this is a complex turn actually. What's your lowest stat? Power. It's part of me. Whew. 
I need to do damage and make sure I get some power dice. <laughs> That's the Hopefully balance. you can't do both. Yeah. That's the goal. Hopefully you can't do both. Nice. Emphasis on tried. Yeah, that's where I am too. Yeah, well, Mega Nova is nuts. They just made them better in, in so many cases. They just made them better. So interesting. Shout out to MZM. Right on, Marcus. Yeah, we're on the same boat on that one. You need about 30 action die. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm trying to get a lot done with very little. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Here we go. Stealth. I guarantee you this gets backed up. Stealth 8. <laughs> uh, Elite Bellower. Uh, Nautilus Blaster. Let's move. 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 One, two, three, four. And then they're going to shoot with three boost dice here. Uh, you're minus one because of armor piercing, and you're minus one because of spotter. It's armor piercing, yeah. So you're at four. Odds are bad on these dice. Hey, you but know. you got to take a Good take luck. shot. Hope you miss. Got oh, it. Oh, yeah. Take one. And you lose a power die. Whee! Is that the Nautilus boy? Yep. What's up, Eric? Good to see you. Yeah, man. How's it going? Okay. Okay, powder. So you've got all the dice in Cash of the Rock here, really. I'm not going to have that many dice. It's not that many. It's not an insignificant amount, either. It's not none. It's not a ton. I don't think I can get out of, like, SWAT range or anything. So we're here. How can I make it as hard as possible? Yeah. I mean, uh, worst case, I mean, you got seven white dice coming in alone. Seven and two. You might power up for one. But you probably just take the action die on the roll. Those white dice can blank out, though, can't they? Sure enough. Okay. Let's see if we've missed anything here. Now, it's worth remembering, if I punch you, I have three boost dice. Mm -hmm. And I also have blue berserk, so I get an extra boost die on my... And your punches? Punches. So you're just a punch machine. Make sure we don't punch. I'm just like, if I can punch you, it's a four boost die attack, which is way better than the power attack. Oh, yeah. Eric's saying the high paint size is what makes it hard for 2.0. Hard to decide with already having so many minis from other games to build and paint. Yep, there's definitely a... I'm running to that. I have Crisis Protocol. And uh, it's it's enough to keep me busy. I'll say that. How close is this though? It's close. I basically had to string together like there's two medium odds things. <laughs> the damage there was medium odds, and then the damage here is medium odds. <laughs> and if either of them hit misses, I'm done for. That's good here. Better doing all right. There's something about this uh, acrylic on top of the mat. Is this acrylic? Plexiglass? Plexiglass, That yeah. clicking mm -hmm. of the unit and the dice is really nice.
Okay. So what else could we string together here? Is there anything else to be strung together? Hmm. <clears throat> How do we do this? You don't really, I mean, you got two paradise, so back to back kind of stuff is not really there. One, two, three. Okay, so we could end up in the pocket. <clears throat> Lowest odds. The old pocket. Are there. I'm not going to miss my shot. Yeah, it, being in the pocket, if you get a shoot and be in the pocket, um, and I, the if, best, I, if I can't punch thing, you... Yeah. That's like really good. But you'll still do a 7 2 2. That's good odds. I'll be 1 because I'm temporal. I'll lose 1. 7 2 1. So it's like 1. I should do 4 or 5. And I've got a 6 defense. It's not great. Funny. Now you could, you're going to power up for 1, right? If you got it. Yeah. Okay, so the the best version of this turn is move. I don't want to go where the people do are. the thing. Do the thing. You remember quick? Oh my gosh, I loved quick. What does it do? Is that where you got to move for free? Mm. I did that so much with the oh, push. Oh yeah, crazy. you had one of those quick. That was push. It was awesome for that. Okay, and then is there any shuffle considerations I should look at? No. Do I get an action die back for anything? No. Can I get to the pocket? No. Not, I mean, I can, but not easily. I'm actually lower on action die than I want to be. So even if, let's just assume that this is my worst. Yeah. Swap my own unit? No. One, two, three, four, five. So the only unit you could swat, yeah. OK, so, so that's, that's the turn. That makes the most sense to me. OK, move. OK. One, two, three, four, five. Six, um, seven, I guess it won't matter. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I guess we'll do it like that. Two, three, and then that'll happen. OK. Don't whiff for tense. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A whiff could still happen. <laughs> That's one thing I really did like about Mumpak is like, as bad as those hurt, mm -hmm. the idea that there's always hope. There's always hope. Like even if this was for game, Rebellions it's not sure, on right? <laughs> it's like the tension of you have to invest enough dice to win, and then if you invest over invest and miss, it's really bad. Yeah. I want to go where the monsters are. And do that. So even if I go here, I like the fact she's got heels on. Then we're looking at. Is that where you were? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's where it was, yeah. I'm looking at three dice. How, how bad is this roll? Three hits, four, five hits. So this is... We're iffy. That's five on average. Mm -hmm. And then five and a half is what you're working with. <laughs> we're iffy. I think I'll give myself higher odds on this one and lower odds on the next one. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. This game sure does photograph. Look at this photograph. <laughs> Monsters. Um, all right, taking my shot. If it misses, so be it. We'll pretend like it hit. <laughs> it's down the line. Hits. Whew. Two, three, four, five, six. For two? 
Two. We'll multi shot these two boys. You got it. Get two back. Down to it, isn't it? Oh, I meant to add a die to that. Well, now my next one's way better. <laughs> yep. I'll leave these here for you in case you need them. Okay, then we will hit and run. Mm, or sprint. One, two, three. And then we'll hoist. You can't move, you can't get through, you can't jump, right? Mm -mm. So if you're here, you can't. Mm -mm. Okay. Actually, I need you. Yeah, close, close is fine, I suppose. There's no way you can get base to base with me there, right? By the way, you could hoist my ape off of the PowerPoint. Mm, so then two. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Now, you can still get the punch here, yeah. which is a problem. I don't think there's anything I can do about that, though. I think, technically, if you... I'm just going to move this back for a mm -hmm. second. If you had shot here... Well, me? it's not within three. Oh, your short range? Mm-hmm. Wow. This is the problem. So let's say you're here. Mm-hmm. Um, nope. Mm -hmm. Not indeed. I don't think now. If there was a way, I wonder if there's a. There's not, right? No, there's not, because there's no hoist going on there. Yeah, I don't think there's any way. I think I think it's I think you're just gonna get the punch. It is what it is. If this is fire, wouldn't matter. Because I got two health. Mm-hmm. Or if I have one health. If it was fire, it would really matter. Oh, you got one health. That's right. <laughs> Let me just make sure I'm not making a mistake here. We used to do this all the time. Do you have a way to make fire? No, I don't. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, my that fire comedy surprise there? ignite. You remember when they nerfed ignite? I do. Incinerous was too good. Oh, don't I? And then they made it really bad. Don't I remember? Man, if I could, if I just had hit and run, wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? Yeah, I don't think there's any way. There's no way. There's no way. Bummer. Bummer, man. All right. Can I, sh can I shoot you? It doesn't really matter. Can I shoot you? Uh, when you're next to me? You can't, can you? Mm -mm. Yeah, that's why they have the, the thing that lets them shoot when they're right next to the bomber ability. Yeah. All right, mine? More one. I just need to move one. That's all. That's all I need, man. I lose a power die because that's what Kondo do. Mm -hmm. Then I may as well power up. Power up. Because I'm going to move. And I can punch with seven. So technically, I can save a white die to give myself a little better odds. Yeah. I'll roll two for power up. Yeah. Good old mom pike math. <laughs> Got it. Nailed him. A thousand ways. Give me that power die. I'm going to move. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Make it fire. <laughs> Punch. Seven. Two power dice. Three like boost dice. Four? Did you have berserk or something? Or oh, is that it just is. units? Does that make uh, Can you look? Yeah. It's a little angry face. Is it a, it's a skill, it's right? It's got like a helmet with horns on it. Yeah, it's a square. Yeah. Berserk. I like that you just knew the name, too. Plus one brawl B-die. Oh, it says this unit. So you can only give your units. But it's plus it's one. not him. It's not him. Yeah. Uh, but it's blue, so they but all you get make your brawlers better, punch, and yeah. so that's that makes a good way to really good. play brawling lists like I love to do and could never justify. Yeah. So this, the odds are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. So you have a six defense. Uh huh. So I'm at about like 80 an 88, something? 87, 88. Yeah. I think it's like 87.4 is probably around that math. That's where games usually end up. <laughs> Remember these moments? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying though. It's like literally, <laughs> the game. It doesn't matter how far ahead you are. If you could just whiff moment, that roll. Yeah. I've seen them roll nothing but blanks. I've yeah. just seen them come up Absolutely. nothing but blanks. And like the reality is most games, because most monsters have five to seven health mm -hmm. on each side. So like one turn is usually enough 
even if I was like a little more ahead in health, missing here is probably enough to cost me the game. I remember I had like a 94% on the Kevin on you a lose. Vassal final, and I just whiffed yep. it, and I was like, I was so ahead. Yep. And that was it. All right. Nailed it. Got it. We all know the symbols. <laughs> yeah. All right, we ended just with a punch to the face. Yep, condo, doing <laughs> condo things. So what's your, uh, you know, t it's probably been what? 2013 is the last Moncon we had? That's probably the last time I played, seven years ago. Yeah. Look at one to zero game, man, that was good. That, that's what I was saying, it was close. And like, I could, it was cool because by the halfway point, which we'd we both started getting stuff, better. We got better, but by the halfway point, I could see turns out. Mm -hmm. And that's where like, I realized that my best chance was just go all my monster dice, take one extra unit turn, I needed to do one damage mm -hmm. there, and then come back with a finisher like that. And so I was, and that's exactly what I was looking at. I could do three two damage attacks in a row, form down, gain one power die, gain two from the units. Then if you bring units in to do the one and you miss, yeah. multi-shot for two power dice, run away, and then it's like game is over. Yeah, so that's what like <laughs> I was looking at it. My odds were same there. I had to be able to do the damage on the unit turn, yes. but I also needed to set up a way to get power dice. Yeah, at least a power die is where I was feeling. So like, I took a little bit of uh, it was a it was like seventy five percent chance on the unit shot, and then on the monster shot, I knew I would get another seventy to eighty. But like, eighty and eighty is still you got hit and run too, don't you? Yeah, I didn't know that. It's still it's only in quantum form. Um, What's his double damage thing? It's the, uh, the hourglass, this quantum thing. Uh, yes, or it's the three dots above it, one of the two. That's what they were telling me. That's what we were talking about in chat. It's like I basically do an extra damage when I'm attacking. Whatever the... They didn't even have quantum rules in here, no. did they? Mm -mm. Yeah. They weren't out yet. It was something like if you have more than five, you do double. You have like Annihilate or something. Yeah. Um, or something. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I, I think it's just double on everything because there was basically... Most of the stuff did double on a single attack. Mm -hmm. Like you have a ranged qualifier or whatever, and he just does it. Just does it. Uh, what's your thoughts seven years in? It's good, man. It's great. I mean, I totally understand why uh, why it was such a phenomenon for us. It's, it's funny because um, the positioning and the... It's more intense here, but it actually reminds me of how I feel when I play Sky Tear. Yeah. I think it's hitting that same beat. It hits me the exact, like, it, where it's like, you can, you got to see the sequencing, right? And so it's like, well, his next turn, he's got to activate, he can either activate this hero or this hero, and depending on which one he activates, then that's going to affect, like, what are my lines if he does that? What are my lines if he does this? It's not as intensive because this actually, as, 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 as much as it seems like this is just throw units out on the board and, and you know scream and attack monsters and secure buildings. So much of the unit game is about positioning and about blocking monsters off and giving yourself pockets to move and those kinds of things. So it's more intensive on the positioning because as compared to Sky Terror, you control where, essentially where all of those little can't hit me spots are gonna be. Yeah. Well, and but it hits that same part of the brain and then you add the deck building from Sky Terror. And so it's kind of a different, you got the unit building in Monpok was one of the best parts of this game. Yeah. And whether you choose your alter or your mega was like the decision, and the quantum sometimes, the, yeah. the greatest decision. Now, I wish it had been a, a harder decision for most monsters. It wasn't just like this sometimes the mega better. was just like awful, or the yeah. alter or, was awful and the mega was clearly better. Yeah, you know? that was definitely, like with Gakura, I, th I like the ultra way better. Um, yeah, so. Like the standard ultra. But I think the difference is when I'm talking thinking about Sky Terror, is uh, like on Sky Terror, there's a lot more reactionary. Yes. Like it's all about the react. Be able, you can react mid turn. So this, you're saving your resources in your hand and your cards in your hand to react with. Um, it's kind of make it feel like a card game more, too. Yeah. It That's definitely, something I, mean, I hadn't fully appreciated is like, I do, it's, I do love the games. I and mean, we talk about this in Netrunner and in Destiny. Your turn is your turn. Yeah. And there's something really special about games where you cannot be messed with on your turn. Yeah. That feels good. Well, especially because like, and I, I get it, it's like, it allows you to be more, uh, to basically come up with a plan and execute it. But it doesn't work in games. Like if Skytra did it, the problem with it is, uh, it's like, there's no risk. Yeah. You know, there's there's a lot of risk. This game is full of risk. Yeah. Like that's, that's part of why I think I liked it so much. 
is like it's all about calculating those odds all the time and basically creating scenarios where you have really good odds over and over and over and over and over again. Maybe it works best like that. Like whenever your turn is never a guarantee is whenever your turn not being interrupted is more likely to, to be a good game system. Sure. Because you know? like if, if you couldn't interrupt me and my turn didn't have risk in itself, mm -hmm. it's not that exciting. Yeah. It, it, that's playing chess. That's true. Because then right. with Destiny, depending on what that role is, it could make all the difference. With Netrunner, you don't know what the top card is going to be. You don't know what's in their hand. Yeah. So you take chances, but you don't. You can't analytically just say this is the best yeah. move. Like Netrunner, you can say this is going to cost me this much money to get in. Mm -hmm. And take a look. And take a chance. Yeah. But it's not guaranteed. And, but there's also very little your opponent. And that's where like a lot of the stuff I didn't like about Netrunner eventually, it's when your opponent's doing weird stuff on your turn. Yeah, the resin weird assets resin windows and, like, and this kind yeah. of stuff. It's like, ah, yeah. I don't want to... In fact, that should just not have happened. Yeah. I, I would go out, out of my way to say that. It's yeah. kind of like saying, I think, uh, in retrospect, I was, I'm going through all my Destiny cards to build my cube, my mm -hmm. one cube for Destiny. And it was really cool because I had an Awakenings cube, which is the first cycle. And now I'm basically like, I went through all my Awakenings cube and I was like, what cards do I really not want? Yeah. And then how many spots do I have to actually replace from two more cycles? But after I, we talked last time, it was like, Destiny should be about the characters. Get the supports out of here. Yeah, just leave them. So I was literally going through the first thing, way turn, first run through the cube. I was like, I'm going to remove all the supports. Very cool. Well, oh, all, so you're going hard on it then. Yeah. I'm going to remove all the vehicle supports. Cool. So like C-3PO is the support. I'm totally fine cool. with that. Yeah, That's yeah. totally fine. And then what that also let me do is take out all the events that reference supports and all the characters that reference supports. Yeah. Where it's like, no, like there's two pose. One is all about playing free supports from hand. The other one is about actually playing the game. <laughs> and so I was like, get the support one out of here. Uh, so we'll get this out. Eventually, I'll get to play Destiny without supports and see how it feels. That's but, cool. I like it. Uh, but this does have a, uh, I think the, the, the balancing of like, and I've never seen a game do it like this, um, but it's like your monster and your support characters. And the way you basically have to balance out your dice and choose, and like yes. you're sending your resources over to the other side back and forth, that is so, it's so good. Yeah. Like that is actually such a, it's, it's crazy system innovation. It's not fancy. Like, no, it's not. Dice is resources, not a big deal. But then the um, dice are also what you roll, you know. Dice are the resources, but they're also what you, you literally are managing the resources that are then going to turn into your chances of doing damage or doing the attack that you need to do. This, this kind of system would work so well for anything that has either two forms to manage. Like you imagine a, um, like Transformers, right? Where like you're spending dice here in your car mode and then you're spending dice here in your Transformer mode. Mm -hmm. Like that would work really well. Anything where you're, like, like here, where units, there's like serious play in one side. Like I thought God Terror was going to go this way or God Terror was going to go this way. Mm -hmm. Where you kind of yeah, had sure. more of a flow between I could maybe take multiple minion turns and then I take a big uh, hero turn. It didn't go that way. It's really, I mean, weirdly though, like that system is not super theme. Mm -hmm. Like it, it being monsters and little support characters doesn't, it doesn't affect this. It doesn't necessarily get you there from day one on the on the vision sheet, you know? Yeah, but, like, what's weird about that to me in a good way is, like, I feel like that style of a system could be used literally any time you have main character and support stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah. and this particularly works pretty well with it. But I'm sure that, like, if I really started pro parsing through it in the processing, you could find a handful of themes that would fit on it. just that idea. It doesn't need to be the same. Yeah. But the fundies of... These dice as resources are when you can you can use on this pocket of stuff, and then you have yeah the other pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah, great memories, man. I love this game. It it feels so good to play it. It's it's really cool too because this is the map that we put together <laughs> We're using dice that we made. With our it's old like logo. the memories instilled in this game. Like we had so much of ourselves put into everything that's on the table right now. It's uh, really phenomenal. Yeah, and getting to see all these old monsters and stuff. I wish, I yeah. I don't have the, I had a Quoja, but I don't have the, the units that you That you're gonna used. pop out those water economies, that's the key. I know? literally, I'm, I'm kind of going through this now. We moved and I'm going through all my games, Destiny being one of them, where I'm basically getting down to minimal amount of stuff, where I'm gonna have my cube and my decks built and then I can get rid of the rest of stuff. But Mom Pocket was funny, getting this stuff ready, it was like, I can play Gakura and Kondo and Sky Sentinel and Defender X and Tectomic. And that's what I have the stuff for. The yeah. buildings and the units and the monsters. It's yeah. like, and that's it. And I only, I didn't have two sets of dice. Because uh, especially back then, I was not at all thinking like, everyone I played with had their stuff. Yeah. So you didn't need. 
Yeah. Didn't need it, but now obviously in like retirement. If you want to play with people, you got to have a lot of stuff, which is different. You got to do it. I got to give a shout out to this Earth Kami over here who spawned and then stayed there the entire game. He literally nothing. just hung out. <laughs> yep. Hey, thanks so much for uh, joining us, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, question here, what's the next throwback game? Uh, so we're taking tomorrow off and then we're, we're taking all of Labor Day week off. So all of next, next week. week we're taking off. Um, that's the first time we've taken And then I think actually even the week after that, we're not even throwing back. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so this is the first time we've taken a break for 24 weeks, 23 weeks, I think. This streaming. completes 24. Week 24. So we'll come back on 26, which is basically second half of the year of streaming. Awesome. So I hope, hope you liked it. hope you, you join us for more streams in the future. We do this about every day, uh, barring the break that we're about to take. And old Monpa crew, it's great to see a lot of you in the chat. It was great super to see awesome. those names. Great memories there. Anyone that came to MonCon or any of the MonCons uh, still... We still talk about it to this day. We still think it's it's one of the greatest things that we've done as a as a business. Uh, certainly not not monetarily the greatest thing that we've done. Uh, quite low on that list, but just as a, a bit, of like, in that as a group of people, it's something we're super proud that happened, and we're super happy that there were some people probably watching out there that were willing to take a risk and come to Tulsa just based off of uh, some things that were posted on our website and, and a lot of blogs that we wrote. So thank you guys so much for for joining us. I'm gonna I'm gonna cue us up to get out of here, Zach. As uh, as Feel Steven free. said, yeah, of course. I, it was really awesome to revisit it. It was really great to see some of the very familiar and old names. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. And uh, we've been throwing back every Thursday. So if you like watching people check out old games, that's a good good place to be. We Tons also stream archive, five days too. a week with a ton of other games. Uh, so hopefully, we'll catch you there. Stay safe, and we'll catch you next time.